Nyuani mwake kwa kushukuru Nyuani mwake kwa kusifu Mshukuruni Ni imidi jina, la, jina lake Kwa kuwa buwana ndiye muema Rema zake ni za milele Na waminifu wake vizazi na vizazi Jina la bali barikiwe Mkwa tariko na mbele zake asubu ya leo Mchana nguwa leo Amen Bado mnampenda Praise God Amen Basi tuvinesha vicha vietu Tufungwe bale tuka maomu Amen Na tuwambi baba yetu athamani Mungu yetu le muema sana Tuna kushukuru sana kwa majaliwa haya tena ya kwepo nyubani mwako Mchana huwa leo na jioni ya leo tena Bwana tunana matarajio makuu kutoka kwako Tunaamini bwana uko mali hapa Maana hatu, hatu, hatu abudu hewa Tunaabudu mungu aliepo Ndeo maana tunamabudu bwana Tusengeza kuabudu kama haupo Lakini mio yetu kutoka ndani tunahisi uwepo wako Ndeo maana tunafunga machu yetu na kuabudu we bwana Maana uko mali hapa Haigalishi machu yetu ya kawaida hayaoni nini Lakini tunajua kwa imani uko mali hapa Maana umesema, umesema kusingapa wili au watatu kwa jina langu Mimi takuwa miongoni mwao Baba we si mwadamu hata useme uongo we ni mungu wa kweli We uleni na hilo neno ni kweli Uko miongo ni mwetu buwana Na hapa tuko zaidi wa wili buwana Tumekusanyika sina hilo jina lenya ahadi buwana Tunamini uko mali hapa Na ulipo yote na wezekana Tuantarajia nujiza jioni ya leo Tuantarajia ishara jioni ya leo Tuantarajia majabu jioni ya leo Tuantarajia kubarikiwa jioni ya leo Tuantarajia kuwana wakujwa kipunya jioni ya leo Mana ulipo yote na wezekana Bwana asante mungu wa thamani Ondoa mashaka na kila kutokuwa amini Na kila roho ya upinzani Tunayondoa mali hapa Katika jina wa Yesu Kristo Maro ya kutokuwa amini na kila kiburi Mefukuza mali hapa Katika jina wa Yesu Kristo Na mungu wa Yesu kapata kutawala Kwanzea mdogo hadi mkubwa Mgena mwenyeji Mbele pa kule nyuma buwana Na mungu wa leka uzako wa kwenye kile kiki buwana Na kuleta wepo wako mali hapa buwana Tuna kwa amini mungu wa thamani Baba na tunakwahidi mwisho yote tutakurudishia heshima zote na utukufu. Tunaanza ibada hii katika jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo. Bariki Mungu dumu atakayo dumu tena leo, bariki mchungaji mwenyeji, wabariki wapiga vyombo, matekinicians, mashemasi na kila mmoja kuanzia mdogo hadi mkubwa. Naomba kati baada ya kiendelea Bwana kushona mnyonge miongoni mwetu. Asante mokozi Yesu. Na mwisho wote naomba heshima zote na utukufu kapokewe Mungu wetu. Tomba haya katika jina takatifu la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo tomba tushukuru. Amen. Praise God. Mungu abariki. Amen. Mjokie ndugu yako, dada yako. Karibisha nyumbani mwa Bwana. Nalifurahia waliponiambia na tena nyumbani mwa Bwana. Amen. Nalifurahia waliponiambia na twende nyumbani kwa Bwana. Una furaha kwa mwenye kwa mwana mtano leo? Nalifurahia waliponiambia na twende nyumbani kwa Bwana. Praise God amen. Nenda kila mahali kwa huru. Nalifurahia waliponiambia na twende nyumbani kwa Bwana. Waliponiambia twende twende leo. Twende dada. Twende ndugu. Twende twende. Twende leo, twende 
kukulia hapa ndio mepo kutoa mizigo yako ni nyumbani kwa Bwana wengine kote unaoko za nao lakini nyumbani kwa Bwana si kwa jengo hili ni kuingia katika roho na nyumbani kwa Bwana si kwa jengo hili hili ni hema tu karibu nyumbani kwa Bwana katika roho hapo ndio mabudu alisopatikana ni katika roho chini ya damu praise god amen alifurahia waliponiambia na twende nyumbani kwa Bwana twende na alifurahia waliponiambia na twende nyumbani kwa Bwana twende na alifurahia waliponiambia na twende nyumbani kwa Bwana Twende 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 hima twende hima twende o dada twende o twende o kuna amani kuna kuhuishwa utakuwa hai utashangilia utaruka ruka ni kwa Bwana tunatua mizigo eh hey, tunakuwa huru nyumba ni kwa Bwana twende leo twende 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 hima twende 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 come on hima twende 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 eh hima twende 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 eh hima twende 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 dada Hima tende tende ndugu tende Usikate dama Yote yana uwezekana Ni nyumbani kwa Bwana Hima tende 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 Eh oh tende 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 Oh tende Oh tende Tende nyumbani kwa Bwana Thank you Lord. Amen, amen. Nyumbani kwa Bwana sio kwa jengo hili, ni katika roho. Kwa hiyo nakushauri wakati mwingine ukiona vipi, funga macho yako. Usiangalie nani kwa mbeni yako, nani kwa jirani yako, abudu. Piga kelele. Ruka ruka. Sema amina. Usogope nani anakuangalia, maana haibusu mtu mwingine. Ni wewe tu na Mungu wako. Praise God amen. Mko tayari? Mko tayari? Mko tayari? Praise God amen. Amen. Oh my. Amen. Amen. Kuna nyimbo za naogopa nisi nika. Ni 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 za Kiingereza. Lakini sitajifunza. Nitakwazika. Amen. Amen. Cast your burdens upon Jesus for he cares for you. Cast your burden upon Jesus for he cares for you. Mama yetu na. Cast your burdens upon Jesus for he cares for you. One more time. Cast your burdens upon Jesus for he cares. Mama jana yako cast your burdens upon Jesus. Mama jana yako for he cares for. Mama jana yako cast your burdens upon Jesus for he cares for you. Mama oh cast your burdens upon Jesus for he cares for lift Jesus higher 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 high lift Jesus higher 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 lift Jesus higher higher hey higher 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 
Lift Jesus higher. Lift Jesus higher. Amen. Hey, Lift Jesus higher. Come on, Zakuka, Zakuka. Lift Jesus higher. Lift Jesus higher. Higher, higher. Hey. Loa, 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 loa. Lift Jesus. Loa, loa. Jesus higher, Jesus higher, higher, higher. Na pena Yesu, uko na kuminua juu zaidi, juu zaidi, juu zaidi, juu zaidi, juu zaidi. Jesus higher, if Jesus higher, you say me, I higher. You, 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 if Jesus higher, if Jesus higher, if Jesus higher, higher, higher. Sata lower, Sata lower, 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 lower. Hallelujah, na furai, mimi wa 
ninapenda kumkwaza shetani na napenda na, na, na ni kumkwaza shetani si ni vibaya kumkwaza ndugu yako eh lakini shetani sio ndugu yangu shetani adui yangu ninajua ninataka nina, nina, nina nikijua jambo ambalo nikilifanya atakwazika nalifanya na kusudi ili akwazike sitaki sitaki adui yangu afurahi hata kidogo nataka akwazike kama nikisema amina anakwazika na, nasema amina nyingi kama nikirukaruka na kwazika nayo karuka zaidi lengo langu akwazike na najua shetani apenda watu maburu Mungu namjua vizuri kwa ajili hiyo nitaabudu kwa nguvu zangu zote akwazike niko hapa kumkwaza shetani haleluya niko hapa kumkwaza shetani sitaki afurahi haleluya ile jambo ambalo huwa unalionea aibu wakati unaabudu lifanye makusudi hata kama hujaje kufanya usiangalie kwamba sasa ndugu zangu unajua hajazoea kuna nini kirukaruka sasa nikirukaruka ataniaonaje yani fanya makusudi ili kuona rukaruka leo shetani akwazike akabike praise god amen nina nataka nata kumkua shetani amen mimi ni mtakatifu praise god mimi ni mtakatifu najua shetani hapendi niseme hivyo nasema waziwazi mimi ni mtakatifu hata kama unanijuaje yani haisumbui takatifu wangu maana sio mimi ni yeye na ni yangu ni mtakatifu praise god amen hata kama unajua historia ngapi za huko nyuma za kuhusu nafan hazihusiani na kile nilicho leo mimi ni mtakatifu praise god na pastor alubiri leo hapa akasema kuna roho mbili tu kuna roho mchafu na roho mtakatifu chagua ile unapenda wewe chagua ile unapenda lakini mimi ni mimi mimi ni roho mtakatifu anaeka ndani yangu ni roho mtakatifu na huyo hii na hivyo ndivyo nilivyo praise god kwa hiyo nataka niimba wimbo wa kumkwaza shetani kwamba mimi ni roho mtakatifu wangapo taimba na mimi praise god amen Mimi 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Was the healing? Si fa za moyo wa na kwa budu ulimi uba ni kwa budu na kwa budu emu wa na kwa budu. unajua hilo utaimba kwa furaha nda kuona unaruka ruka na kuja pa huko mbele kwa tuhuru usiogope kimbia kimbia kila mahali shangilia roho bwana kwa juu yangu na shetani anajua mimi ni mshindi praise god amen roho wa bwana juu yangu shetani anajua mimi ni mshindi Oh, shit, I'm 
Praise God, Amen. Amen. Ebu, 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 ebu
haleluya kubwa mpaka shetani aanguke haleluya glory glory haleluya 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 wao kisikia unaumwa umwa nini sema haleluya shetani kesha kuwasha hapo ukisikia maluelue haleluya said be the name of the lord hallelujah we are here to tell the devil we are here to show the devil where we come from we don't come from tanzania we don't come from segerea we came from god we go back to god that's why we can say hallelujah hallelujah so we are here to show the devil where we come from blessed be the name of the lord so every sister here every brother here we, sh- we should show the devil where you come from when you say hallelujah we join our chorus with the angel and the angel there they respond they say hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord The devil is running now. The devil is not here. We are here alone. We are here to worship God. We are here to praise our Lord. We are here to praise our Lord Jesus. We are here to show ourselves that we are the sons of God. We are the daughter of God. We are not cowards. We are not servants. We are the sons of God. We are daughter of God. And if you know that you are sons of God and the daughter of God, all things are possible. All things are possible. If you are sick, come on, if you are sick, brother, every things are possible to them who believe that you are daughter and sons of God. Somebody say amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God amen. We appreciate Pastor Jemlan Flem Chungaji Pastor Lusuva Chungaji Lusuva What a start Oh ni mwanzo gani huu What a shout Ni kupigeleza namna gani The shout of the king is in the camp now Kwaza mfalme ziko eh kambini sasa The king Kelele mfalme mfalme King Ram Mfalme ana kondoo is here now Yuko hapa sasa and we have come to worship him. Na tumekuja kumwabudu yeye. We are not afraid anybody. Atuogopi yeyote. We are not afraid any devil. Atuogopi shetani yeyote. Even corona itself. Hata corona yeyote. We don't care about corona now. Hatujali kuhusu corona sasa. We are here to worship God. Tukoba kumwabudu Mungu wetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Shina Rabbana Amen. Maybe sister. Amen. 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 Praise God. So I would, take, I, would, I would like to take, to take this opportunity to thank Pastor Lusuva so, so much for his invitation. We love him and we respect him. Praise God. So we thank for his effort. And the prophet says he was going to reward him. God Mungu is going to reward him ataenda kumlipa for his effort. Kwa jitihada zake. Amen. Amen. And also the prophet says, Profeta Nabii anasema, he is not forgetful of our labor. Wala asahau kazi zetu of love ya za upendo. 
Amen. And God always zote, recompense us for our efforts kwa kila yetu, to please Him. Kumpendeza ye. Praise God. So church, kanisa, you must love your pastor lazima and respect him. Na Somebody say amen. Aseme In the message, ujumbe, respect. Eshima. Paragraph 165. Kura, cha the prophet said this. Anasema hivi. If you can't respect man, Kama mtu, respect the office. Eshimu ile ofisi. Somebody say amen. Aseme if you don't res- if you can't respect a man, Kama yule mtu, respect the office. Eshimu ile ofisi. Be hold in God. Kwa ya Mungu. That is exactly right. Hiyo ni sawa sawa. Respect him. Ye. If a minister Kama mudumu, comes up, anakuja, anainuka, your pastor wako, always love him. Mara zote mpende. Always respect him. Mara zote mweshimu. Can you say amen? Yo kusema amina. Your pastor always respect him. Mchungaji wako mara zote mweshimu yeye. The prophet says, Nabi anasema, I have heard congregations nimekuwa na ma, nimesikia kuhusu makusanyiko talks about their pastor. Ya, Yakizungumza kuhusu mchungaji wao. How just talk uh, how just talk about him jinsi ambavyo tu kuongea kumhusu yeye rind him down wakimuangusha chini ridicule ridicule him wakimshutumu kejeli how is that pastor ever going to do anything for you namna gani wewe mchungaji anaweza kufanyia kitu chochote he can't do it hawezi kufanya chochote so you don't i don't say this church Sisemi ili kanisa but i mean churches lakini naamini maanisha makanisa i have seen that if you you have got to love your you have got to love your pastor nimeona kwamba kama unapaswa kumpenda mchungaji wako you have got to know that unapaswa kujua kwamba he is a human being yeye ni mwanadamu but yet god has made him his pastor lakini hata hivyo mungu amemfanya mchungaji wake the holy ghost has made him overseer then you have got to respect him in that manner and no matter what the pastor's done if you respect him in your heart as God's servant God will respect you for doing it Somebody say amen. Aseme amina. So in the message question and answer, ujumbe, na majibu, the prophet says, anasema, if a family, kama familia, ever, ever lose its respect, yake, for family the children lose the respect, kwa ajili ya hiyo familia watoto wanapoteza heshima to the parent, kwa, kwa wazazi, that family tore to pieces hiyo familia itagawanyika Amen So if a church kama kanisa ever lose this respect to the itawahi kupoteza heshima kwa ajili ya mchungaji wake Why? Kwa nini? That church is gone. Hilo kanisa limekwisha. Say amen to the word of God. Sema amina kwa neno la Mungu. The message know it not. I say na ujui, I don't even get to tell the people nothing about our fine pastor nasema si sitaki hata kusema kwa watu juu ya mchungaji wetu mzuri I said uh, the people treating you right nasema je watu wanakuhukumu sawa said it is couldn't be any better nasema haiwezi kuwa bora zaidi and I said well kasema vema that is what i am glad, glad to hear hiyo ni jambo jema nilopaswa kuwahi kusikia when a pastor is satisfied wakati mchungaji anaporidhika and the people is satisfied na watu wanaridhika it makes a real really good church inafanya hilo kanisa kanisa zuri and then god is satisfied ndipo mungu naye anaridhika <laughs> 
Do you believe that? Amen. I think that shows the continuity of the message with the people and with God. Amen. The question I answer again. Paragraph uh, 345 41 You say well glory to God the the Bible said when the Holy Ghost is come you don't need any teacher he is the teacher himself The Bible said when the Holy Ghost is come You don't need any teacher He is the teacher himself Oh brother How can you be so little to read The script Why did the Holy Ghost send teacher in the church then Why did the Holy Ghost send teacher in the church then So we have so many people today. They say I don't want anybody. I don't want pastor. How can you read the script like that? You need somebody to tell you something. If you believe you have the Holy Spirit, come on, I mean, Lord, the, Katifu, the Holy Spirit send the teacher in the church. Lord, the, Katifu, the Holy Spirit send the pastor in the church. Lord, the, Katifu, the church. That's, That's why you have, you have to respect them. You have to hear from them. Somebody say Amen. Where is God? Say. Don't don't uh, have to have anybody to teach me. Unasema sitaji yote kunifundisha. The Holy Ghost teach me. Roho Mtakatifu ananifundisha. It doesn't through it does through a teacher. Anafanya hivyo kupitia mwalimu. He sent teacher teachers in the church. Aliweka walimu kanisani. Somebody say amen. Tu fulani aseme amina. Praise God. The message is the anointed ones at the end time. Paragraph 59. Prophet says this. Notice. But it is what they produce that tells you the difference. By their fruit, Jesus said, You shall know them. Man does not gather grapes of of the feast. Mtu hawezi kukusanya mizabibu chini ya mti wa miba. Even though the feast of be right in the grapevine. Ingawa hata miba ipo pale kwenye mzabibu. That could be possible but the fruit will tell it. Like hiyo inawezekana lakini matunda ndio atakao sema. What is the fruit? Matunda ni nini? The word. Neno. The word neno the fruit is the word matunda ni neno for the fruit of the season matunda ya majira yake that is what it is hiyo ndicho ilicho they are teaching mafundisho yao the teaching of what mafundisho ya nini the teaching of the season mafundisho ya majira yake what time it is ni wakati gani man's doctrine denominational denominational katika madhehebu man doctrine denominational mafundisho ya mtu ya madhehebu doctrine mafundisho oh god's word for the season man's doctrine denominational doctrine doctrine mafundisho ya wanadamu mafundisho ya kimadhehebu oh god's word for the season au neno la mungu katika majira yake where is god mungu na asifiwe So we have the fruit. Hivyo tunao matunda. We have the word. Tunalo neno. The word for the season. Neno kwa ajili ya majira yake. Every word is good. Kila neno ni nzuri. But we need the word of our season. Lakini tunahitaji neno katika majira yetu. We can't build the ark today. Hatuwezi kutenda matendo leo. To, uh, to, to, build, to build the ark. 
Hatuwezi kujenga safina leo. And we say we are going to heaven. Na tuseme tunaenda mbinguni. Because we follow Noah. Kwa 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 tunamfuata Nuhu in the bible katika biblia it will not be good haitakuwa jambo jema we need the word of our season tunahitaji neno la majira yetu blessed be the name of our lord amen amen so kwa hiyo in Luther's age katika kizazi cha luta there were a season kulikuwa na majira he had the word alikuwa na neno but that word lakini ana neno had the title ilikuwa na kichwa which is ambacho ni You know it. In Wesley age, katika kizazi cha Wesley, he had the word. Alikuwa na neno. And that word, neno neno, had the title. Alikuwa na kichwa. Which title? Kichwa gani? Application. In Pentecost age, katika kipindi cha Pentecost, he had the word. Alikuwa na kizazi neno. Which title he had? Kilikuwa na kichwa gani? Baptism of the Holy Ghost. Baptism of the Holy Ghost. In our season, katika majira yetu, we have the word. Tunalo neno. Which title we have? Kichwa gani? Sauti saba. Seven thunders. Rubo saba. Don't say we have the word. Sasa tu tuna neno. No. Pa- Wh- which word? Neno lipi? Because Paul had the word. Kwa kwa Paul alikuwa na neno. And Enos had the word. Ronaldo alikuwa na neno. Martin had the word. Martin alikuwa na neno. All of them had the word. Wote walikuwa na neno. Which are word? Which are word? Neno lipi? Neno lipi? Seven voices. Sauti saba. That is our title. Hiyo ndo kichwa chetu. That our season. Hayo ndo majira yetu. Praise God. Mnasifiwe. My. So the message identified identified Christ of all ages. Katika ujumbe kumwa Kristo aleta mwisho katika nyakati zote. The prophet says. Nabi asema it reminds me inanikumbusha mimi of a fear of time one time kwa jamaa mmoja wakati fulani had some ducks alikuwa na mabata and he cut their wings na alikata mabawa yao so they couldn't fly out ili wasiweze kuruka wakatoka praise god mungu nasifiwe he had some ducks on other side alikuwa na mabata fulani pande wengine and ducks on the other na mabata wengine upande mwingine water begin to come maji yakaanza kuja ndani the first thing you know unajua jambo la kwanza the water got higher maji yaliongezeka and higher na kuongezeka and higher na kuongezeka and the ducks got together ndipo mabata wakaja pamoja so in the morning Asubuhi we heard that tulisikia kwamba you will not gather the bride hawezi kusanya bibi harusi by telling them we have to be one kwa kuambia ati tuwe tuwe wamoja no hapana you bring the word wewe teleno the word in season neno katika majira we gather the bride together tutakusanya bibi harusi pamoja the seven thunder na guruma saba we gather the bride yeah. so the seven thunder ipo guruma saba in the water ni maji let the water come let the water come let the water come let the water come, let the water come. Let the water Then the ducks. Sipo mabata. The ducks. Mabata. Will fly. Watapa. To that others. Kwa yule. To that others. Kwa yule. Bless be the name of God. Because the one word of God. Neno la Mungu. In season. Katika majira yake. So it doesn't matter. Haijalishi. How where pen you are? Where where the pens you are? The pens. Pen pen pen. Okay. It doesn't matter. Haijalishi. Where the pens you are? Uko kwenye kibanda kipi? If the water come, kama maji yakija, you will come out. Utatoka. Because the ducks kwa kwa mabata for the water. Ya nafata maji. There is instinct. Kuna ki kuna sheria yake instinct kuna sheria asili for the water wherever wherever it is ya, ya kufata maji popote yalipo where the where, wherever water is mahali popote maji hapo you will see dark utaona mabata so wherever the seven thunder is popote guru basa basilipo you will see the bright hana bibi harusi you will see the bright hana bibi harusi 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. That is who. The prophet says that is what we need to do. Let the water, the waters go to the rising. And the rising. And then the ducks get together. So don't say they separate us. You bring the water. We will come. We will come. We will come. If you bring the water, we will come. Because we need the water. Kwa kwa tuna itaji maji. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So we need to do that. And then the ducks get together. You see then? And we, we, we all in the same water. So denominations of barriers can be floated out if we will just let the water get deep enough all the differences will vanish say amen somebody like a man had a cornfield a fellow keep saying he had one field plants off this way he had one field plants off this way another one this way this way and so a fellow flying over every morning would look at that uh, cornfield he said isn't that a fine cornfield yeah. and one there after the corn got a little high reached all the way across the fence it looked like one field so I hope it gets that way here that we are, we are one get a big heart to heart Moyo kwa moyo. Confide for kingdoms of God. Somebody say amen. 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 The message prevalent, uh, perseverant. Katika ujumbe kongania. The prophecies. So I think. If we can just let the tide of God's blessings rise. Kama tutu kiacha ule mkondo wa baraka za Mungu uinuke. And rise. Na uinuke. You will see until we uh, you you see, until we will all be in the same pond. Or the same lake. After all we are. It's little crits. And the things that separate us. But being children of God. We are all under one family. Look at this fellow's corn. What nice corn uh, field of corn. That corn keep, keep, kept growing and growing. Till after a while it reached across the fence. It made one big cornfield. So I think that is the way it ought to be. I think that is the way it ought to be. If we grow a little bit, but as long as we are immature, no, as long as we are immature, we will still be fenced off. But when we get matured, there won't be any difference in the field. We will all be one big field. God grant it.
Mungu ajalie hilo. That day, hiyo siku, that I will be able to see it. Nitakuwa na uwezo wa kuona jambo hilo before before leaving. Kabla sijaondoka. So what I see, kila ninachoona, I see the believers. Ninaona waaminio. The mature of the believers now. Ukula kukoma kwa waaminio sasa. Because when you believe the seven thunders, unapoamini nguruma saba, you mature. Unakoma. Somebody say amen. Fulani aseme amina. Let me introduce myself. Acha nitambulishe. You don't know me. How did you? But now I want to introduce myself. Lakini leo nataka nitambulishe. Are you ready? Je mko tayari? Now I am introduced like this. Sasa najitambulisha namna hii. The message the seven church ages. Kutoka ujumbe nyakati saba za kanisa. Paragraph 120. Kifungo cha 120. Prophet say this. Nabii anasema hivi. Be the prophet. Ndio na maamini nabii. All right. Biema. You say this. Nasema I was in the spirit. Nilikuwa katika roho. No matter how saints you are. Haijalishwe ni mtakatifu namna gani. No matter how saints you are. Haijalishwe wewe ni mtakatifu namna gani. How godly you are. Wewe ni wa kimungu namna gani. How much of a minister or a lay member or whatever you are. Hajalishi wewe ni muhudumu au mshirika wa kawaida uko namna gani? You will never come You will never come be able to get anywhere. Hautaenda popote with God na Mungu till you get in the spirit. Hadi uingie katika roho. It doesn't matter how holy you are. Hajalishi wewe ni mtakatifu namna gani? It doesn't matter how many prayers you pray. Hajalishi unaomba namna gani? Doesn't matter how many calls you done. Hajalishi una miujiza mingi namna gani? You will not go anywhere. Hautaenda popote with God na Mungu until you get in the spirit. Hadi umeingia katika roho. I don't mean get in emotional. Sija simaanishi kuingia katika msisimko. I mean get in the spirit. Na maanisha kuingia katika roho. You get in emotional, ukiingia katika msisimko, you do anything. Utafanya chochote. But when you get in spirit, unapoingia katika roho, you see things. Unaona mambo. That's right. Hiyo ni sawa. So I like to advise you tonight. Nataka nikushauri jioni ya leo. Get in the spirit. Ingia katika roho. Where you are, where you sit there, unapokaa hapo, get in the spirit. Ingia katika roho. Tell your brother, tell your sister, get Andea in the yako. spirit. Andea ndugu yako, dada yako, ingia katika roho. If you want to see things, kama unataka kuona mambo, get in the spirit. Ingia katika roho. Otherwise Otherwise vinginevyo you will hear no, many noises here Nasikia makelele mengi hapa But if you get in the spirit Lakini ukiingia ukizama katika roho you will see things Haona mambo So you have to get in the spirit of God. Unapaswa ingia katika roho ya Mungu. You say, Nasema, I can't understand how people can say amen. Siwezi kuelewa vile watu wanavyosema amina. Get in the spirit of God. Katika roho. That's right. Hiyo ni sawa. I can't see how they stand at the baseball game. Siwezi kuwaelewa anavyoweza kusimama kule katika ile mpira wa baseball and beat one another on the back. Naanza kugonga na migongoni mmoja kwa mwingine. And hola and hoop and pull and hats down and carry on na piga kelele na kuvutana huku na kule chini juu seems like grace inaonekana kama kichaa to me kwangu mimi well you you say demo unasema you are not a very good baseball fan wewe sio mshabiki mzuri sana wa baseball i, I am just about a match as dash dash mimi ni kama tu dash dash let's go ngona <laughs> spiel kama hujawahi kuwa mshabiki wa mpira Nenda pale uwanjani siku moja anacheza Yanga na Simba. I'm sorry. Yanga na Simba afu kae mbele ya mshabiki nyuma. Kama utapigwa teke utakuja kunambia. Amen. How about 
to you as a Christian. Vipi kuhusu wewe kama mkristo? How about you as a Christian? Vipi kuhusu wewe kama mkristo? That's right. You have got to, you have got to get into the spirit of Napozo it. Ingea katika roho. Because they get in the spirit of the of the football. Kwa kuwa anaingia katika roho ya ku They not sit still. Wabibu. Hawakai tu. And say oh, yes. Nasema vema. Y- yes, yeah, our team is going vema to win. Yetu itaenda kushinda. No. Pana. They shout. They say something. They say hey. Go there. Go there. They get in the spirit. How about you Christian? Vipi kuwa kama mkristo? Vipi kuwa kama mkristo? How about you Christian? Vipi kuwa kama mkristo? Tonight usiku leo is our night. Ni usiku wetu. We want to see things. Nataka tuone mambo. We want to see God. Nataka tuone mambo. We want to see the manifestation. Nataka tuone madhirisho. We want to see God come here. Na basi tuone Mungu akija hapa. Na atubariki. But before you see. Na kika bado jana. You want to get in the spirit. Na tumeingia katika roho. So first you get in the spirit. Hivyo jaribu kuingia katika roho. Brother you didn't enjoy the message. Ndugu jafurahia ujumbe. You didn't enjoy the message of the hour. Ndugu jafurahia ujumbe wa saa. This message. Ujumbe makes us free. Inatufanya sisi huru. We are free indeed. Tuko huru kweli kweli. We are not devil's kingdom. Sisi si ufalme wa shetani. No sir. Hapana bwana. Let me tell you the devil's kingdom. Acha nikwambie ufalme wa shetani. Sad. Uzuni. Solo. Oh, Zuni. What is the devil kingdom? Ondo falme ya shetani. Mind of mind battle, misongo ya mawazo, frustration, ku listening, uko na mhoja. That is the kingdom of the devil. Ondo falme ya shetani. So you sit there, ndio nakaa pale with the kingdom of the devil. Na ufalme wa shetani. But tonight, kisiko leo, this evening, jioni ya leo, I say I surrender all. Nasema naji salimisha. I surrender all to Jesus. Salimisha yote kwa Yesu. If the sun set you free, kama mwana amekuweka huru, you are free indeed. Uko huru kweli kweli. Let me tell you. Acha nikwambie, that is the way you may be seated. Unaweza uketi hiyo ndio njia. That is the way. Hiyo ndio njia. It is when you used to go to dances. Ndivyo ilivyo unapozoea kwenda kwenye ma disco. I don't believe you will do you will do you will to God now. Siamini kwamba utaweza kwenda kwa disco sasa. Surely not. Hapana. But if you used to go, lakini kama ulizoelea kwenda, they had to play up the hip hop music. Wanapoanza kupiga ule mziki wa hip hop and he beat the bands and they beat the drums naanza kugonga ngoma na vyombo vyao kule and he do every kind of things there was about it na kufanya kila kitu cha namna kama kule kiendelea and the woman ran out there na mwanamke akipita kule akirukaruka half naked akiwa nusu uchi everything else kitu fulani kinaendelea and he dance on the floor akicheza pale kukata sakafuni and things na mambo get you in the spirit to yeah, dance ya hiyo na kuingiza katika roho ya kucheza. We that is right. Hiyo ni sawa. You get in the spirit of it. Unaingia katika roho yake. It is the spirit of the devil. Ni roho ya shetani. God you say, unasema, Amen. Amen. Because it is truth. Kwa kuwa ni kweli. I I will prove it by the Bible. Nitathibitisha hilo kwa Biblia. That is right. Hiyo ni sawa. I believe it by by the, by the Bible. Nitathibitisha hilo kwa Biblia. Amen. Amen. Now I try to introduce myself. Sasa najaribu kujitambulisha. Who I am? Mimi ni nani? And after finish, na baada ya hapa, I give everyone the mic. Nitamba mtu kila mic to introduce itself. Ajitambulishe na yeye. I start from here. Taanza pale up to there. Paka kule. Today we do difference. Leo tutafanya tofauti. So be ready. Hivyo kweni tayari. To introduce yourself. Kujitambulisha. I'm here to introduce myself. Niko hapa kujitambulisha. Then I give you mic. Ndipo nitatoa mic kule. From here. Kutoka pale. Out to there. Hadi kule. So don't worry. Hivyo usiogope. Sit there. Wake up. Now. Sasa. The prophet says. Nabii asema. In the message in Revelation chapter 4 verse 1. Katika ujumbe ufunuo 
Jesus fiend. Mimi ni mshabiki wa Yesu. I am. Mimi. Not you. Si wewe. So I'll come to ask you. Nitakuja kukuuliza. Later. Baadaye. But now. Lakini sasa hivi. Here. Hapa. Me. Mimi. I am the fiend of Mimi Jesus. Mimi ni mshabiki wa Yesu. You see? Unaona? I have actually seen them these. You remind the old straw card hat. Unakumbuka ile kofia ya ya ukili ya kale? I went to I went to the baseball one day. Nilienda katika mpira wa baseball siku moja. And see a guy hit a home run. Nikamwona mtu fulani anapiga katika kukimbia kwenda kufunga goli au kushinda. And this guy sitting in the front of me. Na yule mtu alikuwa amekaa mbele yangu with a straw hat. Akiwa na ile kofia yake ya ukili. He got all excited. Alikuwa pia ana furaha amechemkwa. Took his hat and just pull it right down. Akivua ile kofia yake na kuweka chini hapa. Just put him a color a collar around like this where akifunua kola yake akinyanyua where the top went out wakati kile hichi cha chini cha juu kinakuwa kinafumuliwa why kwa nini he was having him a big time alikuwa na wakati mzuri he was so beside himself alikuwa bwana anajielewa tu mwenyewe he didn't know what he was doing alikuwa hajui anafanya nini just kicking and howling and holding and jumping na kuruka na kuruka na kupiga kelele well now you know lakini unajua what i think kile nawazia he sure was hard he sure hard. hakika alikuwa he was a he was a loved base fiend ye yeah, alikopo ni mshabiki madhubuti wa baseball just like a cigarette fiend kama tu mshabiki wa sigara so here hivyo hapa everybody is a fiend kila mtu ni mshabiki don't tell me don't you don't have something to fiend it usiniambie wewe una ushabiki wa kitu chochote you are a liar wewe ni muongo you are a liar wewe ni muongo But me, lakini mimi, I am Jesus fear. Mimi ni mshabiki wa Yesu. So everybody here, kila mtu hapa, is a fear. Ni mshabiki. You you don't be stimulated hausisemkui because we didn't say what you you fear and eat kwa sababu hatujasema kile ambacho unashabikia if we say it kama tukikisema you be happy utakuwa na furaha you will stimulate utachemkwa but don't say i am the cooler man usiseme mimi ni mtu mpole no sir hapana bwana we don't we didn't hit somewhere hatujakugusa But if we hit somebody you will say something utasema kitu fulani you will stimulate utachemkwa Praise be to God Mungu na asifiwe You see unaona we have cigarette fiend kuna mashabiki wa sigara we have whiskey fiend kuna mashabiki wa whisky we have football fiend kuna mashabiki wa mpira we have we have backbiting fiend kuna mashabiki wa kusengenya we have fasting fiend kuna mashabiki wa ugomvi we have so many fiend kuna mashabiki wengi Don't say you don't fear some Usiseme mimi sina ushabiki wa chochote You liar you muongo Somebody say amen. All right. Vema, ask your brother. Are you fiend of what? Muulize ndugu yako wewe ni shabiki wa nini? Praise God. So like a cigarette Jesus uh, fiend kama tu mshabiki wa sigara a whiskey fiend mshabiki wa whiskey the prophet says nabii anasema i am jesus fiend mimi ni mshabiki wa yesu you see unaona a fiend mshabiki after something mshabiki wa kitu fulani then could you imagine that guy je unaweza kumwazia yule mtu say oh sure i am baseball fiend nasema hakika mimi ni mshabiki wa baseball what is wrong with that guy nasema huyu mtu ana matatizo gani something wrong with him ana shida huyu it 
mtu kute mtu ni mshabiki wa mpira afa amekaa anaona timu yake inaenda kushinda asema eh goli hilo 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 huyu ni mshabiki kweli huyu ana matatizo huyu nabii anasema you are wrong somewhere una shida wewe Amen. So I will see which fiend are you? Nasema nitakuona wewe ni mshabiki wa nini? Tonight. Siku ya leo. Today is our day. Leo ni siku yetu. We want to tell the devil. Nataka mwambie shetani. Which something are you excited? You've been excited. Wewe unafurahiwa na nini? We will see tonight. Tutaona usiku wa leo. All right. Yema. Something wrong with him. Kitu fulani kina shida kwake. Look what Look at him sitting there. Naona amekaa tu pale. Ha? Ha? That is just so. Put it two two together. Kaka wili wili pamoja. Now see oh, when you are filled of Jesus, sasa unapokuwa mshabiki wa Yesu and you feel the Holy Spirit is sinking on those words. Na unaona Roho Mtakatifu anaku And you feel the Holy Spirit sink in those words. Na unaona Roho Mtakatifu anazama katika hayo Those words words ila neno then something screams sipo kitu kinapiga kelele oh you get beyond yourself unajivuka kutoka kwako if you are the fiend of jesus kama ni mshabiki wa yesu when you see the holy spirit unaona roho mtakatifu sing in those words anaingia katika neno you will not sit still hautakaa chini something will scream out kitu fulani kitainuka Praise be to God. Mungu nasikie. Maybe seated. Naweza kuketi. He promised the Lord. Alimwaahidi Bwana. Somebody he promised the Lord. Mtu fulani alimwaahidi Bwana. He served him. Mtamstumikia. And as soon as the Lord begin to bless him, lakini Bwana alipoanza kumbariki and he got right with God, akaenda kuwa sawa na Mungu, his wife just stand around. Mke wake akageuka nyuma. She would him for a divorce. Akamu akamshitaki akitaka talaka and he left him na akamwacha left him sit out in the cold akamwacha akae kule kwenye baridi but he still was a fiend lakini bado alikuwa ni mshabiki it doesn't matter if your wife left you hajalishi mkogo akikuacha if you are still a fiend kama ni mshabiki you will still a fiend utaendelea kuwa mshabiki It doesn't matter church you leave you. Hajalishi kama kanisa likikwacha. If you are still fiend, kama ni mshabiki, you will be fiend. Utaendelea kuwa mshabiki. It doesn't matter the environment. Hajalishi mazingira. All the situations. Au hali. You will still be a fiend. Utaendelea kuwa mshabiki. Hey. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let me tell you. Acha nikwambie. You can't change fiend. Hauwezi kumbadilisha mshabiki. It doesn't matter if his team is loose. Hajalishi timu yake inafungwa namna gani. He will still be a fiend. Yeye ataendelea kuwa mshabiki tu. It doesn't matter if you don't have money. Hajalishi hata kama una hela. If you don't have clothes. Au una hata nguo. If somebody go wrong, au mtu fulani atenda makosa. But you are still fiend. Lakini wewe bado ni mshabiki. Don't sit still in the church. Usikae tu umetulia kanisani. Because of the frustration. Kwa sababu ya mawazo. Oh, you have solo. Oh, ni na uzuri. You are still fiend. Wewe bado ni mshabiki. It doesn't matter the situation. Bila kujali mwaliki. You are fiend. Wewe ni mshabiki. Now yeah. All right, you see? Unaona? So his wife divorced him. Ibo mke wake alimwacha. But he was still a fiend. Lakini bado alikuwa ni mshabiki. And when he stood there one night, na aliposimama pale usiku mmoja, and somebody said something about Jesus. Na kitu fulani akasema kitu kuhusu Yesu. Something how great he was. Kitu fulani namna gani alivyokuwa mkubwa? Like that. Kama hivyo. He said, "Oh, glory." Asema, "Oh, tukufu." 
shoot his arms out akirusha mikono yake and his here his fist was akirusha through yake huko sticking through the wall akirusha kidonga ukutani like that kama hivyo he didn't know he done it hakujua amefanya hivyo had his fist stick in the wall had ngumi yake kafika ukutani said the brother sema ndugu brother bill ndugu bill i will pay for that nitakuombea kwa hilo i will pay nitalipia hiyo so his fist stick to the to the wall ngumi yake kagonga ukutani Well, prophet prophet say bill i will pay for it nitalipia wewe ukuta i think brother who uh, uh, I will pay for that. Nitalipia hiyo ndugu wao. I think brother Woody came down and he put the piece of on. Na wazee ndugu Woody alikuja akaeka kipanda cha bao. Put another piece of on. Akaeka kipande kingine pale pale kwa kujika. We didn't mind that. Hatukuwazia hatukuwazia kuwazika na hilo. Brother Ben. Brother Ben. Ndugu Ben. We just we just glad you was a fiend. Nina tunafurahi kwamba wewe ulikuwa mshabiki. So we don't care how, how the damage you you brought us. Hatujali umeharibu nini. We we'll put a piece of it. Tutarudishia. So brother Lusuba if we have the damage somewhere here. Kwa ndugu Lusuba kama tukivunja mahali hapa. You just put your brick there. Wewe rudishia matofali yako. We are see the fiend. Bado sisi ni washabiki. Praise God you see when the holy spirit unaona wakati roho mtakatifu does something to you anapofanyia kitu fulani you just can't sit still hauwezi ukatulia there is something bubbles over kitu fulani kinachemka yeah so, something takes a hold kitu fulani kinakushika a fiend for christ ule ushabiki wa kristo when you love the lord unapompenda bwana just something in you reaching out kitu fulani kinakufikia wewe clapping ukipiga kwa kofu hallowing ukipiga kelele fisting ukiruka jina said yesu asema blessed are they wamebarikiwa wale for they shall be filled kwa kuwa watachazwa you have got you have got it umepata hiyo or not au hujapata oh how many wants more of god au ni watu wangapi wanataka kujua ya mengi zaidi ya Mungu wewe the, the reason that you want more of God sababu unataka mengi kuhusu Mungu you are blessed kwa kuwa umebarikiwa just to be that just to be that kuwa namna hiyo if you haven't got it kama hujapata hilo you are still blessed bado umebarikiwa if you have the holy spirit kama roho mtakatifu if you don't have it hata huna you are still blessed bado umebarikiwa And blessed are they na wamebarikiwa wale that do hunger and feast ambao wana njaa na kiu you are blessed just to hunger and feast umebarikiwa tu kuwa na njaa na kiu because you want it kwa kuwa unataka hilo you are blessed baraka zako you are blessed umebarikiwa cause kwa sababu there's many people don't want it kuna watu wengi hawataki jambo hilo Amen. Amen. Are we ready? Je, tuko tayari? So in the message why? Katika ujumbe kwa nini? I just introduce myself. Najitambulisha tu. And you tell me after this. Na wewe utajitambulisha baada ya hili. Are you a friend of what? Je, wewe ni mshabiki wa nini? I said, nasema, you are a holy roller. Wewe ni mtakatifu anayejipingilisha. You are a holy roller. Wewe mtakatifu anayejipingilisha. Down there. Chini kule. I couldn't even sleep for you. I couldn't even sleep for you. Sikuweza hata kulala kwa ajili yako. You are holy roller. Wewe ndio mtakatifu unajivingirisha. You wewe ambaye si mtakatifu, si mtakatifu lakini unajivingirisha. <laughs> An holy roller. Wewe si mtakatifu unajivingirisha. So a prophet one day, hivyo nabii wetu siku moja, he didn't sleep. Hakulala because of the of these unholy unholy glorious. Kwa sababu ya hao watakatifu wasiojivingirisha. Oh. Okay. Ah, wa si watakatifu wanaojivingirisha. He didn't sleep. Hakulala. And even time we didn't sleep. Na mara nyingi hatujalala. Many times. Mara nyingi we don't sleep. 
because of the unholy lawyers unholy lawyers how are you at the gate for they pass by there wanapitabale shouting yanga yanga simba simba yanga yanga we didn't sleep hatujalal and holy lawless wasio watakatifu wanaojivingirisha praise god kuna spirit i said kasema if we are holy rollers kama sisi ni watakatifu tunaojivingirisha then you are an holy roller sipo ninyi ni wasio watakatifu wanaojivingirisha that i said Yes, ma. You would be poor baseball fiend sitting there. Ukekuwa mshabiki mbovu wa timu ya baseball ukiwa umekaa pale saying oh yeah I see. Nasema wewe vyema ninaona hiyo. It is home run. Ni wakati kwenda kufunga goli. I said you say he wasn't very much a thrust. Unasema hakuwa mshabiki sana sana huyu. You knocking straw heads down over one another. Ha. He he knocking through as raw hearts down ah. over one another alitupa kofia yake huku na kule mmoja kwa mwingine and slapping one another na kigonga mmoja kwa mwingine and shaking na kushikana mikono like na kitu fulani kama na hiyo i say nikasema when the preacher wakati muhubiri gets in the pulpit anapokuja mimbarani and hits one them home runs na akawa anaenda kufunga goli fulani This is the prophet. Huni nabi. Is the message why? Katika ujumbe kwa nini? Paragraph 79. Kifungu cha 79. If you say, kama sema, when the preacher wakati muhubiri gets in the pulpit, anakuja mibadani. Like me here. Kama mimi hapa. When when he hit one of them home runs, wakati anaenda kufunga goli, like that, kama hivyo, and he see them sense open up the way naona wale watakatifu wamefungua njia and see heaven before them naona mbingu kwa ajili yake mbele yake they hola glory wanasema utukufu glory tukufu i see it ni maana yao i see it ni maana yao i see it ni maana yao hallelujah hallelujah i see it nasema they just starting the king's highway wanaanza kuelekea njia wa mfalme that is all Hiyo ndio. There it is. Hiyo ndio ilivyo. It is strange how they miss it. Ni ya kigeni hizi wanapokosa jambo hilo. But I guess it is just to be that way. Lakini ninatamani iwe namna hiyo. It is all. Ni yote cut out by God. It is all cut out by God. Yote imetengenezwa na Mungu. I guess. Ninawazia. That is the way it is supposed to be. Hivyo ndivyo inapaswa kuwa. Somebody say amen. Tu flani aseme amina. Listen now in the message. Now I finish to introduce myself. Excuse us sasa katika ujumbe namaliza kujitambulisha. The message believe though this. Katika ujumbe chem na sadiki haya. Look. Angalia. All right. Vema. I can prove anything. Naweza kuthibitisha chochote without emotion. Bila hata kuwa na bila naweza kuthibitisha chochote bila msisimko. Is dead. Kimekufa. So, kwa hiyo, your religion hasn't got any emotion. Dini yako haina msisimko wote about it. Juu ya hiyo, buried. Zika hiyo. Buried. Zika hiyo. Buried somewhere. Zika hiyo mahali fulani. And you get one that is got some life in it. Na uchukue dini fulani ambayo ina msisimko. Somebody say amen. If your religion kama dini yako has it got emotional. Haina msisimko. Bury it somewhere. Zika hiyo mahali fulani. And you find something else. Na upate kitu kingine. Which has life in it. Ambayo ina uhai ndani yake. So in the message let letting off the pressure. Katika uh, ujumbe kuachia kutoa pressure this is a prophet when nabi and the people na watu might tell you wanaweza kukwambia that we are just too emotional kwamba sisi ni wa kimsisimko sana people might tell you that you are just too emotional watu wanaweza kukwambia wewe una msisimko sana 
Have you heard them? Kio mwasikia? Telling you. Wakikwambia. You are so emotional. Wewe oh, una msisimko mno. You are so emotional. So emotional. Ninyi segerea nyiki mara. Mna msisimko sana. Be quiet. We want tulien, 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 tulien. to hear message. We want to hear message. Tunataka ujumbe tulieni. People might tell you that you are too emotional. Watu wanaweza kukuambia wewe una msisimko sana. It isn't emotional. Sim simko. Cause in one way, kwa kwa, kwa namna nyingine, it is emotional. Ni msisimko. But anything that hasn't got emotion, it just exists on a simple stage. Kimekufa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Anything that hasn't in emotion, it just exists on a simple. It's dead. Kimekufa. It's only dead one. Nikilichokufa tu hasn't emotion. Ndio hakina msisimko. But if you are alive, lakini kama uko hai, you have emotion. Una msisimko. Come on chase. Come on, you have emotion. Come on bride. Johnny. You have emotion. Come on young people. You have emotion. You are alive. Come on call. Because not you live. Kwa kwa sio naishi. If Jesus lives. Kama sio naishi. If Jesus is in you. Kama sio na naishi. You have emotion. Somebody say amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Young people. This is our day. This is our time. To show our God. That we believe the message of Malachi 4. We didn't come from the denominations. To bring the denomination in the message. Now, when we come from the denomination, when we come out from the denomination, we leave everything there. Hallelujah. So we have come here to show our god that we will be we believe the message of the hour blessed be the name of the lord yes sir pray for us brother pray for us brother tuombe ndugu tuombe ndugu hallelujah praise god amen so young people vijana don't you lose your time usipoteze muda wetu don't you waste your time usipoteze you have to show your god that you believe mwene. this message and huu. this message is very powerful na huu this message can change you ujumbe huu unaweza kubadilisha from this stage kutoka hali hii to another stage hadi hali nyingine to another stage kutoka hali nyingine so don't be quiet usiwe kimya don't say oh oh oh, oh, oh just to oh, worship oh. god we mabudu mungu and you see uh, the changing going on. utaona mabadiliko yakiendelea. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Listen. Sikiliza. This message ujumbe huu of Malachi 4 wa Malachi 4 is alive. Uhai. This is not denomination. He is the hebu. This is the message of the hour. Who ni ujumbe wa saa which has power ambao na nguvu in it. Ndani yake. This message ujumbe huu has the power in it. Una nguvu ndani yake. Can make you kukufanya wewe to change from one place ubadilike kutoka hali moja to another place. Paka hali nyingine au mahali pamoja mpaka pengine. Let me tell you. Wewe nikwambie. If you have the same idea of the denomination kama una wazo la kidhehebu you are still there bado uko pale in the message. Ndani ya ujumbe. But this message lakini ujumbe huu must change you. Lazima ukubadilishe from there kutoka pale to here mpaka hapa. Because the prophet Sab Nabi has come amekuja to brought us from the nation kutoondoka katika madhehebu to become bride kufanyika bibi harusi not still not to become again denomination si kufanyika dhehebu tena but the bride lakini bibi harusi So don't act like you are in the in the in the denomination kama uko katika dhehebu No sir Hapana, you have to be changed you have to get in the message you have to get in there you have to be in there you have to enjoy the message you have to show that you are the bride of Jesus Christ kama ni bibi harusi wa Yesu Kristo Blessed be the name of the Lord. You see? 
So many people will tell you you are emotional. But what you are going to come here and you are saying that as emotional as not emotional is dead. Lakini chochote kisicho kwa na msisimko kimekufa. So if your religion hasn't got a little emotional. Kwa hiyo kama dini yako haina msisimko kidogo about it. Kuhusu you better bury it. Ni afadhali uizike. This is the message of Malachi 4. Huu ni ujumbe wa Malachi 4. Better bury it somewhere. Ni afadhali uizike mahali fulani. It is dead. Imekufa. Certainly. Hakika. Is the three thing it is thrilling when Jesus comes to uh to Jerusalem. Ilisisimua wakati Yesu alipokuja Yerusalemu. And Jesus is the word of God. Na Yesu ni neno la Mungu. So when the word of God are being preached, neno la Mungu lipo kwani nahubiriwa. It is threatening you. Linakusisimka ndani yako. So when Jesus came to Jerusalem, yes, Jerusalem the people screamed watu and he shouted until people said make them hold their peace people in the message like the people that day kama watu siku ile they say so many noise here wakasema kuna kelele sana hapa make them peace of it wafanye wao kimya watulie In Luke 19:35 katika Luka 19:35 they tell Jesus walimwambia Yesu Master Bwana rebuke the di- disciples wakemee wanafunzi rebuke them wakemee make them peace wafanye wao kimya watulie and Jesus answered Yesu akajibu he said alisema if they hold their peace kama wakikaa kimya the rocks will immediately cry out hayo mawe na miamba Let me tell you brother I will not wait the rocks to shout I will shout I will praise God I will praise God Blessed be the name of the Lord So the son of God Holy Spirit Roho mtakatifu And we sang here. Kama kuna mwana hapa. We, we sang, we sing, we sang. Tunaimba hapa. We are the Holy Spirit. Sisi ni Roho Mtakatifu. The Holy Spirit. Roho Mtakatifu is the Son of God. Ni mwana wa Mungu. Do you believe that? Je, unaamini hilo? And we are the Son of God. Na sisi ni wana wa Mungu. Born by Spirit. Tumezaliwa kwa roho. Not by body fresh. Si kwa mwili but born by spirit lakini kuzaliwa kwa roho that's why we sing we are the holy spirit ndio maana tunaimba sisi ni roho mtakatifu so the son of god the holy spirit kwa maana wa mungu roho mtakatifu the word neno was on the road alikuwa njiani mwake and something has to come out in its presence na kitu fulani lazima kije katika uwepo wake you must come to his presence lazima uje uwepo ni mwake you must recognize his presence lazima utambue uwepo wake and ensure that you accept it na uoneshe kwamba unakubali hilo respond quickly jibu kwa haraka when you see the word of god unapona neno la mungu comes out likijitokeza you have to respond quickly inabidi uitikie kwa haraka you have to say amen useme amina when you say amen unaposema amina is coming inside linakuja ndani and change you linakubadilisha it make you better linakufanya uwe bora zaidi 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 from this glory kutoka utukufu huu to another glory kwa utukufu mwingine to another glory kwa utukufu mwingine to another glory kwa utukufu mwingine until rapture mpaka unyakuo Somebody say amen Mtu fulani aseme amina Do you appreciate that? Je, unafurahia hilo? So are you ready to introduce yourself? Kwa hiyo uko tayari kujitambulisha? I'm the Jesus friend. Mimi ni mshabiki wa Yesu. And you? Na wewe? And you? Na wewe je? Thank you. Asante. Amen. Amen. So we want to thank our pastor, brother Gabriel Urio. Tunataka kumshukuru mchungaji wetu ndugu Gabriel Urio. What shall we say about our pastor, brother Gabriel? Unaweza kusema nini kuhusu ndugu mchungaji Gabriel Urio? For the messages. Kwa jia ya jumbe. He preached yesterday and today. Alizohubiri jana na leo. Yesterday he did the message was the promise of another Ephesians. Ujumbe wa jana ulikuwa ahadi ya Efeso nyingine. You may be seated. Kaeni. I got something yesterday and today. Nilipata kitu fulani jana. 
all the mysteries mafumbo yote that has been revealed ambayo yamefunuliwa is for us ni kwa ajili yetu and our children na watoto wetu so kwa hiyo we are not allowed aturusiwi to tell our children kuambia watoto wetu which is not revealed mambo ambayo hayajafunuliwa because it's not ours kwa sababu si ya kwetu it's for god ni ya mungu but all of things which have been revealed lakini mambo yote yaliyofunuliwa is for us ni ya kwetu and our children na watoto wetu so we are here tuko hapa to tell them kuambia seven thunders gruma saba is revealed zimefunuliwa seven seals muhuri wa saba revealed umefunuliwa seven virtues sifa saba revealed zimefunuliwa everything which is revealed kila kitu ambacho hakijafunuliwa is for you ambacho kimefunuliwa ni cha kwenu So the day of saying secret secret is finished. Kwa siku ya kusema siri siri imekwisha. But we say open 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 open. Na tunasema wazi 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 wazi. Bless God. Mungu asifiwe. As God uh, promises another efficiency. Mungu aliahidi efeso nyingine. The outpouring of the understanding. Kwa mimina kwa ufahamu. So we understand him by the Holy Spirit. Tunafahamu kwa Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Amen. Today this leo, morning subuhi leo who are these seven thunders for his ngurumo saba ni nini seven lip voices sauti zizo hai i know pastor had many things najua mchungaji ana mambo mengi and we will hear tomorrow tutasikia kesho so I'll just uh, give you light things nakupa mambo mepesi we waiting for tomorrow tunasubiria kesho to get many uh, uh, heavy things kupata mambo mengi mazito from the seven thunders kutoka kwenye ngurumo saba so this evening this evening jioni ya leo in one hour katika saa moja i will say something nitasema kitu fulani that will make you shout ambacho kitakufanya upaze sauti ni run around ukimbie huko na huko because we are the fear kwa sababu wewe ni shabiki Praise God. Shall we stand up? Mungu asifiwe tusimame. And open our Bibles. Mungu wa Biblia zetu in the Luke. Kitabu cha Luka 15. Luka 15:8 to 9. Luka 15:8 nane mpaka 9. And Revelation 19 na ufunuo 19:9. Mstari wa 9. And Matthew 20:22. Matthew 22:1 to 14. Moja hadi 14. Revelation 10. Na ufunuo 10. 17. Moja hadi 7. One hour is enough for me, you know. Saa moja inanitosha. Jua au hapa na hapa au hapa na hapa. Au nusu saa is enough for me. Inanitosha. Let's bow our head and the word of prayer. Tunaisha vitu vyetu kwa maombi. Our heaven Father, Baba yetu wa mbinguni, you gather us together umetukusanya pamoja for your purpose kwa ajili ya kusudi lako and we are here na tuko hapa ready to hear from you tayari kusikia kutoka kwako we are ready Ta- tuko tayari to follow your instruction kufuata maagizo yako what you say to do ulicho unachosema tufanye we will do it tutafanya so bless us lord kwa tubariki bana give us this the time tupe wakati huu to enjoy the message kufurahia ujumbe to enjoy the word of god furahia neno la mungu send your holy spirit to us tumaro wako mtakatifu kwetu feed us with, with the holy spirit utujie kwa roho mtakatifu and everybody when we go out na kila mmoja wetu tutokapo nje we testify to everybody atashuhudia kwa kila mtu that we have got something kwamba tumepata kitu fulani when we read the bible tunaposoma biblia bless it lord ibariki and anointing it na uitie mafuta in jesus name we pray kwa jina la yesu tuomba amen amina so look 15:8 to 9 luka 15:8 nane hadi 9 i like to greet in, in the hook up nataka kuwasalimu wewe katika mtandao god bless you mungu wabariki pray for me niombeeni and enjoy the message namfurahie ujumbe Luke 15:89 Luka 15:8 hadi 9 
au kuna mwanamke gani mwenye shilingi kumi akipotewa na moja asiyewasha taa na kufagia nyumba na kutafuta kwa bidii hata ione na kisha kuiona huwaita rafiki zake na jirani zake akawaambia furahii ni pamoja nami kwa kuwa nimeipata tena shilingi ile iliyonipotea Revelation 19:9 ufunuo 19:9 naye akaniambia andika heri walioalikwa karamu ya harusi ya mwana kondoo akaniambia maneno haya ni maneno ya kweli ya Mungu St Matthew 22 Mathayo mtakatifu 22 1 to 14 1 hadi 14 sorry it is so long eh samhanin ni ndefu but you bear with me lakini mtanivumilia Yesu akajibu akawaambia tena kwa mithali akisema Ufalme wa mbinguni umefanana na mfalme mmoja aliyemfanyia mwanawe harusi akawatuma watumwa wake wawaite walioalikwa kuja harusini nao wakakataa kuja akatuma tena watumwa wengine akisema waambieni wale walioalikwa tazameni nimeandaa karamu yangu ngombe zangu na vinono vimekwisha kuchinjwa na vyote vimekuwa tayari njooni harusini lakini hawakujali wakaenda zao mmoja shambani kwake mmoja kwenye biashara yake na waliosalia wakawakamata watumwa wake wakawatenda jeuri na kuwaua basi yule mfalme akakadhabika akapeleka majeshi yake akawaangamiza wauaji wale akauteketeza mji wao kisha akawaambia watumwa wake harusi ii tayari lakini wale waliolikwa hawakustahili basi enendeni hata njia panda za barabara na wote mwaonao waiteni harusini watumwa wale wakatoka wakaenda njia kuu wakakusanya wote waliowaona waovu kwa wema harusi ikajaa wageni lakini alipoingia yule mfalme ili kuwatazama wageni wake akaona mle mtu mmoja asiyevaa vazi la harusi akamwambia rafiki uliingiaje humu nawe huna vazi la harusi naye akatekewa mfalme akawaambia watumishi mfungeni mikono na miguu mchukueni mkamtupe katika giza la nje andiko kutakuwako na kilio na kusaga meno kwa maana waitoni wengi wateule ni wachache revelation 10:17 ufunuo 11 hadi 7 kisha nikaona malaika mwingine mwenye nguvu akishuka kutoka mbinguni amevikwa wingu na upinde wa mvua juu ya kichwa chake na uso wake ulikuwa kama jua na miguu yake kama nguzo za moto na katika mkono wake alikuwa na kitabu kidogo kimefunguliwa akaweka mguu wake wa kuume juu ya bahari na wa kushoto juu ya nchi naye akalia kwa sauti kuu kama simba au ngurumavyo na alipolia zile ngurumo saba zikatoa sauti zao na hata ngurumo saba zilipotoa sauti zao na alikuwa tayari kuandika nami nalisikia sauti kutoka mbinguni ikisema yatie muhuri maneno hayo yaliyonenwa na hizo ngurumo saba usiandike na yule malaika niliyemwona akisoma juu ya bahari na juu ya nchi akainua mkono wake wa kuume kuelekea mbinguni akaapa kwa yeye aliye hai hata milele na milele yeye aliyeziumba mbingu na vitu vilivyomo na nchi na vitu vilivyomo na bahari na vitu vilivyomo ya kwamba hapata kuwa na wakati baada ya haya isipokuwa katika siku za sauti ya malaika wa saba atakapokuwa tayari kupiga baragumu hapo ndipo siri ya Mungu itakapotimizwa kama alivyowahubiri watumishi wake hao manabii amen may god bless his word amina bwana wabariki kusoma neno lake may be seated kaeni Amen. Uh, na mimi naweza kusema simu geni sana. Hapa. Amen. Simu geni sana hapa. Na nakumbuka mara ya mwisho ningo ile ilikuwa linaangalia kule. Mara ya mwisho tulikuwa na mkutano hapa ali tarehe 3 mwezi wa 5 2019.
wakati mzuri sana. Alizungumza maneno mazuri wakati huo akasema kama kuna mtu anataka kutoa kwenye neno kama ni rafiki na ufe na ufe. Hebe. Bila shaka mtu akitaka kutoa kwenye neno kama urafiki na ufe na ufe. Akasema ukisimama na neno hautapendwa na wengi. 2009 hayo maneno nasema 2009 alisema ukisimama na neno hautapendwa na wengi na hiyo ni kweli ukisimama na neno hautapendwa na wengi na kama unafiki na ufe na ufe sina ufe tu kama mtu anataka kunitoa kwenye neno unafiki kama na ufe na ufe bila natisha tarehe tatu mwezi wa tano mpaka leo tarehe tano okay my title kichwa the wedding garment vazi la harusi eh subject somo the second coming of the lord kuja kwa pili kwa bwana my inspiration uvuvio the call to the marriage supper of the lamb Mwito kwa harusi ka au karamu ya harusi ya mwanakondoo. Amen. Amen. The wedding garment. Vazi la harusi. Pastor Leo said, mchungaji Leo amesema, this meeting, mikutano hii is the meeting of the voice of God. Ni mikutano ya sauti ya Mungu, voices. Sauti za Mungu nyingi Amen Amina so in the day of the voice katika siku za sauti in the that day of the voice katika siku hizo za sauti the mystery will be finished fumbo litamalizika so all the mystery that you know kwa mafumbo yote unayojua was revealed yalifunuliwa were revealed yalifunuliwa in the prophet ndani ya nabii anything you say this is the mystery chochote kile ambacho tunaona hili ni fumbo were revealed kilifunuliwa ndani ya nabii in the prophet ndani ya nabii anything you read in the bible chochote unachosoma katika biblia and you say this is the mystery na useme hili ni fumbo was revealed in the prophet kilifunuliwa kwa nabii So anything you say this is the mystery this is the mystery chochote unachosema hili ni fumbo hili ni fumbo this is the secret hili ni siri was revealed in the mystery in the prophet ifunuliwa ndani ya nabii and the prophet said na nabii alisema when you see the prophet ukimuona nabii god is ready to speak mungu yuko tayari kunena so if you believe this is malachi 4 kama naamini hii ni malaki 4 has already come amesha kuja tayari so there's no any mystery hakuna fumbo lolote that was not revealed ambalo halikufunuliwa because all the mysteries kwa sababu mafumbo yote was revealed were revealed yalifunuliwa in the prophet ndani ya nabii Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina Bwana libarikiwe. All the missile, mafumbo yote. Seven seals, seven thunders. Nuhuri saba, ngurumo saba. Were revealed, yalifunuliwa in the prophet. Ndani ya nabii. But the, four, the prophet says, lakini nabii alisema, you have to follow him. Inabidi umfate all the way. Njia yote. To know all the missile. Ili ujue mafumbo yote. Don't go halfway. Usiende njia nusu. But all the way. Nenda njia yote. Our prophet, nabii wetu, is like Elijah. Ni kama Elia. To Elisha. Kwa Elisha. So Elijah, kwa Elisha, Elijah tell Elisha. Elia alimwambia Elisha, stop here. Baki hapa. I will come. Nitakuja. But Elisha say no. Elisha akasema hapana. I will follow you all the way. Nitafuata njia yote. Because I need that portion. Nahitaji sehemu maradufu. So the problem today, shida leo in the message. Kwenye ujumbe. People stuck somewhere. Watu wana 
kwama mahali fulani they don't go all the way hawaendi njia yote If you don't want to go all the way, kama utakwenda njia yote, you will miss some mysteries. Utakosa baadhi ya mafumbo. You will not get double portion. Hautopata sehemu maradufu. You will say you have the Holy Spirit, utasema na Roho Mtakatifu, but it's anointing. Lakini ni mafuta. Not, not the really Holy Spirit. Sio Roho Mtakatifu wa kweli. Because the Holy Spirit, kwa sababu Roho wa kweli, is coming from the little word. Anakuja kutoka katika neno la kweli. The word of God. Kutoka kwenye neno la kweli la Mungu. From the whole word of God. Kutoka kwenye neno lote la Mungu. Then you get the Holy Spirit. Utampata Roho wa kweli, Roho Mtakatifu wa kweli. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So if we need some manifestations of the Holy Spirit, you need the Holy Spirit genuine. Unamhitaji Roho Mtakatifu wa halisi au wa kweli. Not anointing. Sima mafuta. Not some some emotion. Sio msisimko fulani. But the Holy Spirit really. Lakini Roho Mtakatifu wa kweli. The person of Jesus Christ. Utu wa Yesu Kristo. In you. Ndani yako. Then you will get the real manifestation. Ndipo utapata madhihirisho ya kweli. You will have the confidence. Utakuwa na ujasiri. To do anything. Kufanya chochote. It doesn't matter the situation. Haijalishi hali yoyote. So what our prophet, kwa kile ambacho nabii wetu, get the real Holy Spirit. Alipata Roho Mtakatifu wa kweli. He said, alisema, if I pray 100, kama nikiomba nikaweka mikono yangu in 100 people, kwa watu 100 and die, na wakafa, tomorrow, kesho, I will pray again. Nitawaombea wengine tena. You know why people today fear? Unajua kwani watu leo wana hofu? They don't have the real word. Hawana neno la kweli. And the Holy Spirit. Na Roho Mtakatifu. The Genuine Spirit. Roho Halisi. The same angel. Malaika yule yule which has with, with our brother uh, prophet. Ambaye alikuwa na nabii wetu. So brother kwa ndugu if i pray 100 here nikiwaomea watu 100 hapa and die tomorrow wakafa kesho i will come again nitakuja tena i say come N- n- kama ndivyo kuja na nasema njo because i have the confidence kwa sababu na ujasiri but what i heard kwamba kile nilicho nacho is real ni cha kweli Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina bwana libarikiwe. So all the mystery may be seated. Kwa hiyo mafumbo yote All the mystery were revealed in the prophets. Mafumbo yote yalifunuliwa ndani ya nabii. And if you believe you have the prophet, na kama unaamini una nabii, all the mystery is finished. Mafumbo yote yamemalizika. Otherwise you don't believe brother Branham. Vingine hivyo labda humwamini ndugu Branham. Because the word of God sababu neno la Mungu come to the prophet linamjia nabii and you say you have the prophet na unasema una nabii and you say the seven thunder are not revealed na unasema nguruma saba hazijafunuliwa the seven things not revealed mburi wa saba hujafunuliwa and you have the prophet na una nabii nonsense hiyo si kweli hiyo ni upuuzi because the word of god sababu neno la Mungu come to the prophet linamjia nabii And you say you have the prophet. Na wewe unasema unaye nabii. And seven things is close. Na muhuri wa saba umefungwa. That's the prophet say sometimes. Ndio maana nabii alisema wakati fulani, you pray the church. Unacheza michezo ya kanisa. That is the praying of the church. Hiyo ni michezo ya kanisa. We don't here to pray in the church. Hatuko hapa kucheza michezo ya kanisa. We are here to believe the word of God. Tuko hapa kuamini neno la Mungu. We are here to follow the word of God. Tuko hapa kufuata neno la Mungu. Praise be to God. Mungu na asifiwe. So they say divine healing is another of the part. Kwa alisema uponyaji wa kiungu ni wakati fulani mwingine. And shouting was for the grandma na kupaza sauti kwa kwa ajili ya mabibi zetu. These other blessing were for the disciples. Hizi baraka zingine zilikuwa za wanafunzi. They were taking all the blessing from the church. Walikuwa naondoa baraka zote kutoka kanisani. 
take all the blessings in the church wanatoa baraka zote kutoka kanisani shouting for the grandma kupiga kupa sauti kwa hearing for the disciples uponyaji kwa wanafunzi this is for the that one hii ni kwa yule so the church is formal choir kwa kanisa linakuwa la kawaida baridi Hi. Jamani, yeah, I see the devil is exposed. Naona shetani amefichuliwa. The devil is exposed. Shetani amefichuliwa. And if the devil is exposed, na kama shetani amefichuliwa, he will be mad. Atakuwa kichaa. He will not make you to shout. Hata kufanya upate sauti. He will make you cool again. Atakufanya wewe baridi tena. But we are here to refuse it. Na tuko hapa kufunua to refute it. Tuko hapa kukana hilo. Because we didn't give him room in heaven one time. Kwa sababu hatukumpa yeye nafasi kule mbinguni wakati fulani. When he fight with Michael, alipopigana na Mikaeli, he tried to To, to, to receive somebody's alijaribu kupokea au kukusanya watu fulani you brother come you brother come wewe ndugu njo wewe ndugu njo this michael he want to be he, he boss himself huyu anataka kuwa yeye boss peke yake he want us to, to worship him anataka sisi tumwabudu yeye and some people accept that na watu fulani wakapokea hilo but michael lakini mikaeli has also some angels ana malaika pia wenzake who she didn't accept the devil ambao hakukubali yale mambo ya shetani and that angels na wale malaika represent you walikuwakilisha wewe because they were spirits kwa sababu walikuwa roho those angels was spirits wale malaika walikuwa katika roho represent you walikuwakilisha wewe so when michael wakati mikaeli jesus himself yesu mwenyewe kick the devil had down here alipo mpiga shetani chini hapo you kick him down here na wewe ulimpiga shetani chini hapo that's why today ndio maana leo you kick him up here unampiga teke hapa you are the same person wewe ni mtu yule yule you are the same person wewe ni mtu yule yule that you were in heaven ambao ulikuwa mbinguni you kick him there ulimpiga teke pale you kick him here unampiga teke hapa Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina bwana libarikiwe. So never forgot. Kwa hiyo shetani alisahau that you are the same one. Kwa maana ni yeye yule yule. That you come in the flesh. Ambao umekuja katika mwili. But you are the same one. Lakini ni yule yule. So we are here. Kwa hiyo tuko hapa to show our character. Kuonesha tabia yetu. That we were there. Kwamba tulikuwa pale before the foundation of the world. Kabla ya misingi ya ulimwengu. We were shout. Tuko tunapaa sauti. We were stars. Tulikuwa nyota. We were jumping. Tuko tunaruka. We were crying. Tuko tunalia. We were shouting there. Tunapaa sauti before the foundation of the world kabla misingi ya ulimwengu that's why here lakini uko hapa it's not surprise us that's not surprise us haitushangazi when we, we say shouting tukipaza sauti because we were shouting there kwa sababu tulikuwa tunapaza sauti kule we do what we did tunajua tulichofanya we do what we did tunafanya tulichofanya kule oh my jamani If you were not there if you were not there kama haukuwa pale actually it will be hard for you to enjoy this itakuwa ngumu kwako kufurahia blessed be the name of the lord jina bwana libarikiwe pastor pastor you stood us pastor mchungaji huyo alituambia this message ujumbe huu is love letter ni barua ya mapenzi do you believe that Hiyo unaamini hiyo? So if I write a love letter to my wife, nikiandika barua ya mapenzi kwa mke wangu, and I say, na nimwambie, "Hani, mpenzi, you know they are sekerea." Unajua pale sekerea? So I, I, I don't want to mention everything. Sitaki kutaja kila When kitu. When I say, you know about sekerea. Nikisema unajua kuhusu sekerea. Because we were together. Kwa sababu tulikuwa pamoja. He will remember it. Atakumbuka. He say, "Yes, I remember it." Atasema ndio nakumbuka. So this message kwa ujumbe huu if you read it ukiusoma and it's not yours na si wa kwako you will stumble utakwama mahali
Because it is love letter. Kwa sababu ni barua ya mapenzi. This message has come to his wife. Ujumbe huu umekuja kwa mke wake. That's why sometimes say dash 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 dash. Ndio maana wakati mwingine anasema nukta nukta nukta. So the bride know what the dash dash means. Kwa hiyo bibi harusi anajua nukta nukta anamaanisha nini. And sometimes we see somebody read the message and laughing. Wakati mwingine unaona mtu anasoma ujumbe anacheka. He remember something. Anakumbuka kitu fulani. He remember somewhere. Anakumbuka mahali fulani. And say why these people shouting? No, so, kwa nini watu wanapaza sauti? They need their letter. Wanasoma barua yao. They need their letter. Wanasoma barua yao. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina bwana libarikiwe. So you may be seated now. Kaeni sasa. So they taken all the blessing from the church. Wanaondoa baraka zote kutoka kanisani. But God says, Lakini Mungu anasema, I will restore it. Nitarejesha hizo. I will bring her back again. Nitamrejesha tena. I will restore everything in the church. Nitarejesha kila kitu kanisani. I will restore. Nitarejesha. I will restore. Nitarejesha. I will restore. Nitarejesha. If some ministers kama wahudumu fulani remove everything in the church wanaondoa kila kitu kanisani God Mungu promise to restore it aliahidi kukirejesha If some ministers say don't don't shouting kama watu wanasema usipaze sauti God say I will restore it Mungu anasema nitarejesha If some minister uh, took everything the baptism of the holy ghost the healing the church Sick. Kama mhudumu fulani ameondoa baptizo wa Roho Mtakatifu kuponya ukiungu kwa wagonjwa he say I will restore. Anasema nitarejesha. I will restore. Nitarejesha. Are you happy that he will restore? Je unafurahi kwamba atarejesha? Oh my. Jamani. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mtu fulani apa sauti hallelujah. My I will restore say the Lord. Nitarejesha sema Bwana. That is good enough for me. Hiyo inanitosha mimi. That is good. Hiyo ni nzuri. Enough for you, amen. Ni nzuri kwa ajili yako, amina. Ma, you may be seated. Jamani, kaeni. So in the message. Katika ujumbe. Law and grace. Neema na sheria. Eh. Amina. Sina posi kwa fusioni. Eh, kwa hivyo hivyo. Fusioni kweli. Look. Tazama in the parable katika mithali. Look in the parable. Tazama katika mithali. Went to the wedding supper. Katika ile karamu ya harusi. And everybody at the wedding supper. Na kila mtu katika ile karamu ya harusi had to have an certain garment. Alipasa awe na vazi la aina fulani. And he went to a man there who did he have on the kind of garment. Na kulikuwa na mtu mmoja ndani pale ambaye alikuwa hana aina ya lile vazi. He said, akasema, "Friend, what Are you doing here? Akamwambia rafiki unafanya nini hapa? The wedding garment. Vazi la harusi. Somebody, mtu fulani, don't want to follow the way when, where uh, which God put it. Hataki kufuata njia ambayo Mungu ameiweka. You want to go through the you want to come in through the door anataka through the window anataka kuja kupitia dirishani you know why unajua kwa nini it's because if you get through the door ni kwa sababu ukipitia mlangoni you will get same holy spirit utapata roho mtakatifu yule yule which this one has ambaye huyu anaye and this one na huyu he tried to get through the door through the window alikusudia kupitia dirishani to escape to say that i believe like you kuogopa au kukwepa kusema naamini kama wewe So he tried to, to get in from through the, the window. Kwa akajaribu kuingia kupitia dirishani. Because if you come through the door, 
Ukipitia mlangoni all the people watu wote it is that matter you are the sister or the brother haijalishi wewe ni ndugu au dada we believe the same thing utaamini kitu kile kile kimoja So today some people expect to say seven thunder give faith. Leo watu fulani wanakuepa kusema ngurumo saba zinatoa imani. If you say that, ukisema hiyo, you will say like Kimara. Utasema kama Kimara. You say like Brother Gabriel Uriho. Utasema kama ndugu Gabriel Uriho. You will say like Coleman. Utasema kama ndugu Coleman. And you don't want to say like Coleman. Na hutaki kusema kama ndugu Coleman. Then you come through that window. Ndipo unakuja kupitia dirishani. Because let me tell you. Bwana nikwambie true is true. Kweli ni kweli. It doesn't matter who says. Haijalishi nani anaisema. True is true. Kweli ni kweli. It doesn't matter who says. Haijalishi nani anaisema. If this is white kama hii ni nyeupe you can't change this by saying it's blue huwezi kuibadilisha na kusema hii ni blue be, be, because i wear it kwa sababu nimeivaa and you hate me na wewe unanichukia i hate you because you i hate you so this shirt is not white kwa sababu nakuchukia hii shirt si nyeupe you can't change this color you will say from in the morning up to evening utasema kuanzia asubuhi hadi jioni this color will remain there hii rangi itabaki pale pale. So you, so your heart said doesn't change this color. Kwa hiyo chuki yako haibadilishi rangi hii. Woo! Praise God amen. Mungu asifiwe amina. So truth is truth. Kwa hiyo kweli ni kweli. So the master kwa hiyo bwana find someone who doesn't have a garment. Alimuona mtu fulani ambaye hana vazi la harusi. So you mean that garment is the seven thunder? Yes, you will see. Kwa unamaanisha hilo vazi ni ngurumo saba ndio utaona hiyo. The garment is the seven thunders. Vazi ni ngurumo saba. So this guy escaped to say seven thunder give faith. Kwa hiyo mtu alikuepa kusema ngurumo saba zinatoa imani. So he come through the door the, the window. Kwa akaja kupitia dirishani. Ma you may be sitting. Kaeni. Hey, now you, you know the parable in the orient over there. Sasa unajua ile mithali katika nyakati za kimashariki kule au tamaduni za kimashariki. Amen. In the eastern country when they make a wedding till you till yet today katika nchi za mashariki wakati wanafanya harusi bwana harusi ndiye na mwalika yeyote yule amtakaye and god can na god can na mungu no man can come to god na mungu alisema hakuna mtu anaweza kuja kwake or come to christ au kuja kwa kristo god calls him first isipokuwa mungu amemuita kwanza see it is election Unaona ni uteuzi of God wa Mungu. Now watch close. Sasa tazama kwa karibu. The bridegroom sasa bwana harusi if he has given the invitation kama ametoa mwaliko he has to vanish the robes. Inabidi aandae mavazi. So the one who invite you yule anayekukaribisha the one who vanish the robes. Ndiye anayeandaa mavazi. So if somebody invite you kama mtu fulani karibisha must stay there welcome you inabidi akukaribisha must stay there inabidi akae pale mlangoni akukaribishe welcome you akukaribishe so in the orient time katika nyakati za kimashariki he had the garment he had the, the robe alikuwa na vazi la harusi to make everybody eco kufanya kila mtu awe sawa na mwenzake if you are poor kama ni masikini and rich kama ni tajiri iko uko sawa if you have gift kama una kipawa and don't have gift au una kipawa iko uko sawa but what remains lakini what remains kinachobakia respect heshima Be 
because you can't hate your brother sababu huwezi kumchukia ndugu yako because all of you kwa sababu wote ni invited mmekaribishwa au mmealikwa all of you are invited wote mmealikwa why you hate me kwani unanichukia That's why the say seven thunders. Ndio maana anasema ngurumo saba. When you get real revelation, unapopata ufunuo wa kweli, you will not hate anybody. Hutomchukia mtu yeyote. You will love everybody. Utampenda kila mtu. Even your enemy. Hata adui yako. You will love him. Utampenda. That is the seven thunders. Hizo ni ngurumo saba. Where is God amen? Mungu asifiwe amina. Oh my time is running. Oh jamani wakati unakimbia. But I try to run myself also. Nami najaribu kuharakisha pia. Okay now. Okay so because he invites poor and he invites rich. Kwa sababu yeye anakaribisha maskini na matajiri. But to make every man look Kaini. the same lakini anamfanya kila mtu aonekane sawa na mwenzake. He has to have the same kind of robe on. Inabidi we na aina ile ile ya vazi. The poor does ambalo maskini alionalo. That the rich have. Hilo ndio tajiri anakuwa nalo. You get it? Umeipata hiyo? Now when God gives a poor man the Holy Ghost, mtu anapompa Mungu anapompa maskini Roho Mtakatifu, it is the same Holy Ghost he gives the rich one man. Ni Roho Mtakatifu yule yule anayempatia tajiri. See they all have to be the same. Unaona yote yanapaswa kuwa sawa sawa. But when they, they when they come in the presence of God, wanapokuja upande wa Mungu, no one can say I am dressed better. Hakuna mmoja anaweza kusema mimi nimevaa vizuri. Because it is the same blood. Kwa sababu ni damu ile ile. The same grace. Ni neema ile ile. The same Holy Ghost. Ni Roho Mtakatifu ile ile. Can you act in the same way? Nawe utatenda au utaenenda namna ile ile. The rich the poor has to come alike. Masikini tajiri wanataka wanatakiwa waje vile vile. That is exactly the parable. Huo ndio ule mfano au ile methali au ile fumbo. My somebody say amen. Mtu fulani aseme amina. You may be sitting now and be running. Sasa. So in the message ask uh, question and answer. Katika ujumbe wa maswali na majibu. Paragraph uh, 872. Aya 872. The prophet said this. Nabii alisema hivi. I wonder. Na nashangaa. Someone would raise their hands. Kama mtu fulani angeinua mikono yake. Say brother Branham. Aseme ndugu Branham. Just remember me that nikumbuke kwamba I can be a complete overcomer. Ninawe ili niweze kuwa mshindi wa, wa, wa moja kwa moja. At, at the last day na siku ya mwisho where the wedding garment. Nivae vazi la harusi. And be with Christ and be with Christ. Nami niwe pamoja na Kristo. Will you raise your hand? Je, utainua mikono yako? Because the garment kwa sababu vazi is the Holy Spirit. Ni Roho Mtakatifu. So in the message God's provided way. Katika ujumbe wa njia iliyopeanwa na Mungu. Paragraph 61. Aya 61. Oh some of them days, these days, baadhi ya hizo siku au siku hizi will be caught away tutanyakuliwa God will catch away his bride Mungu atamnyakua bibi harusi wake Them who are wearing the wedding garment Wale wanaovaa vazi la harusi Do you follow me? Je mnanifuata? It means they think that to be Katika ujumbe mambo yanayopaswa kuwako Say and then Anasema na pia find a man in there without the wedding garment on Alimpata mtu ndani pale ambaye hana vazi la harusi He wanted to hold to the old coat yeye alitaka tu kuendelea kuvalia lile vazi au lile koti la kale. He want to say what he want to say. Anataka kusema kile anachotaka kusema. He don't want to say what the message say. Hataki kusema kile ujumbe unasema. Because if you say what the message say, kwa sababu ukisema ujumbe unachosema, you will be the same. Utakuwa sawa with the others na wengine. Because if you say the seven thunder give faith. Kwa sababu kama ukisema ngurumo saba zinatoa imani. Oh, seven thunder the seven voices in the church ages. Au ngurumo saba ni sauti saba katika nyakati saba za kanisa. You will be like brother Coleman. Utakuwa kama ndugu Coleman. Oh brother Gabriel Urio. Au ndugu Gabriel Urio. Oh, the other brothers. Au ndugu wengine. So you don't want to say to say that. 
Kwao hataki kusema hivyo. You want to stay with the, uh, the same coat. Tunataka kubaki na vazi lile lile. Amen. You see that is the problem you have. Hiyo ni shida. Because when you see people try to escape the message. Ukiona watu wanajaribu kukwepa ujumbe. They want to go this way, they want to go this way. They want to go straight. Hata kunyoka. Because if you go straight, ukienda moja kwa moja, you will be like brother this one. Utakuwa kama ndugu fulani. And I don't want to be like this one. Na mimi sitakuwa kama huyu. Because this one believe the message. Kwa sababu huyu anaamini ujumbe. And as if I say that uh, if I say like him, kama nikisema kama yeye, I'll be like him. Nitakuwa kama yeye. Nonsense. Ni upuzi. You have to say what the message is saying. Inabidi useme kile ujumbe unasema. If they call you a, you, a, you follow somebody, wakikuita unafuata mtu fulani, it will not change you. Haitakubadilisha. Because you know what you know. Kwa sababu unajua kile unajua. Brother, we need some Christians ndugu tunahitaji wa Kristo who has the backbone ambao wana uti wa mgongo not jellyfish sio wale yavu yavu not somebody pull you this way and then somebody pull this way sio mtu anaye kuvutia huko au mtu anakuvutia huko you have to stand huko. yourself usimame mwenyewe and you know what you know na inabidi ujue kile unajua If you make somebody hate you, kama ikitafanya mtu fulani akuchukie, hate you. Acha akuchukie. God love you. Mungu anakupenda. If some churches leave you, kama watu fulani wakikuacha au makanisa yakakuacha, makanisa yakakuacha. Let them leave you. Acha yakuache. God love you. Mungu anakupenda. We heard yesterday. Ulisikia jana. Many people, watu wengi, is you. Ni wewe. You one. Wewe mmoja. Is many people. Ni watu wengi. In the kingdom of God. Katika ufalme wa Mungu. And let me tell you. Gwa ni kwambie. You see this woman. Unaona huyu mwanamke? Had the ten coins. Alikuwa na zile sarafu And he lost one. Akapoteza moja. And when he lost one, alipopoteza moja, he didn't stay say oh, I will stay with this. Hakusema hakusema nitabaki na hizi tisa. But he come out. Alitoka to find one. Kutafuta ile moja. Because this one, kwa sababu hii moja, had the value. Ilikuwa na thamani. And we find today tunagundua leo God Mungu leave the heaven aliacha mbingu not for many si kwa ajili ya wengi but for you lakini kwa ajili yako one mmoja Jesus Yesu died at Calvary alikufa Calvary not for somebody else si kwa mtu mwingine but he died for you lakini kwa ajili yako because of your value kwa sababu ya thamani yako So you won. Kwa wao mmoja. Kwa dhalu una thamani. Then he say he leave the 99 sheep. Ndio maana alisema aliacha kwenda 99 to find one. Akamfuata mmoja. Because of the value. Kwa sababu ya thamani. You are the value. Wewe una thamani. In the kingdom of God. Kwenye ufalme wa Mungu. Don't care, don't stay down. Usikae chini. Stand up. Simama. And say to Jesus. Na umshukuru Yesu. Because you are the value. Kwa sababu wewe una thamani. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So many people. Watu wengi. Is you. Ni wewe. Don't say usiseme if this is the truth kama hii ni kweli why that people don't believe this kwani watu wengi hawaliamini hili this is not come for them hii haikuja kwa ajili yao it's come for you imekuja kwa ajili yako don't lose your time usipoteze wakati wako this chance is for you hii ni kwa ajili yako and 
said if you know this is the truth na kama unajua hii ni kweli you have to believe now inapaswa uiamini sasa hivi don't wait tomorrow usisubiri kesho because you will not get the chance kwa sababu hutapata nafasi like the crucify one kama yule mwivi pale msalabani you will not you will not get that chance hutapata nafasi kama ya yule mwivi your chance is your chance nafasi yako ni nafasi yako when you know wakati unachua something kitu fulani respond it hebu itikia kwa haraka there 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 mahali wakati huo huo you see unaona you may be seated now kaeni sasa okay let me unani oh my Yaman so Israel in the church the prophet says katika ujumbe Israeli na kanisa na bibi he was loved he was loved alipendwa and his father which we can't uh, and uh, and his father alipendwa na baba yake which we, we can't move ambaye hakuweza kusogea live from this his father give him a coat of many colors alipendwa yusufu alipendwa na baba yake hata hakuondoka kwa baba yake baba yake akampa vazi la rangi saba you see this uh, joseph unaona huyu ni yusufu he present the bride aliwakilisha bibi harusi god mungu love him alimpenda father baba love joseph alimpenda yusufu and he gave him a coat of many colors naye alimpatia vazi la rangi nyingi is that right jeoni kweli now if You will watch that robe which a uh, sin which represent the holy spirit. Sasa kama utatazama lile vazi ambalo linawakilisha roho mtakatifu. So the, the, the robe which Joseph has been given, vazi ambalo Yusufu alipewa, represent the holy spirit. Linawakilisha roho mtakatifu. Do you believe that? Je, unaamini hilo? And the wedding garment na vazi la harusi is the holy spirit ni roho mtakatifu And this garment na vazi hili have the seven colors lina rangi saba And we know the seven colors na sitajua rangi saba is the manifestation ni madhihirisho of the holy spirit ya roho mtakatifu Because one Holy Spirit kwa sababu Roho Mtakatifu mmoja sent the seven church ages alitumwa kwa makanisa saba one Holy Spirit Roho Mtakatifu mmoja So these seven colors kwa hizi rangi saba is God ni Mungu And the prophet says na nabii alisema if you want if you you want to come back to God kama nataka kurudi kwa Mungu you want you must come through the perfection inabidi uje kupitia ukamilifu which is God ambao ni Mungu seven colors rangi saba and we heard this nasi tumesikia hili God has not many spirits Mungu hana roho nyingi. God has one spirit. Mungu ana roho mmoja tu. But he sent to the seven church ages. Lakini alimtuma katika nyakati saba za kanisa. That's why we got seven voices. Ndio maana tuna sauti saba. So the robe today, kwa hiyo vazi leo, the wedding garment, vazi la harusi, is the holy spirit. Ni roho mtakatifu which had seven colors ambaye ana rangi saba which is the seven voices ambazo ni sauti saba which is the seven thunders ambazo ni ngurumo saba and the prophet say here na nabii anasema hapa the holy spirit roho mtakatifu that covered his being ambaye ndiye anaongoza utu wake ambaye alifunika utu wake and today na leo it is the holy spirit ni roho mtakatifu that covers the church ambaye anamfunika au analivika kanisa so the church kwa kanisa have, has covered by limevikwa na holy spirit roho mtakatifu the robe of many colors vazi la rangi nyingi and the seven colors in the rainbow na kuna rangi saba katika upindo wa mvua and it's seven perfect 
Color is all the colors we have. Nazo ni rangi saba kamilifu ndizo rangi tulizo nazo. The robe of the seven colors vazi la rangi nyingi that was upon Joseph ambao alikuwa juu ya Yusufu that was upon Jesus that was upon Jesus ambao alikuwa juu ya Yesu it is upon the church today liko juu ya kanisa leo protected likilinda kanisa the body was covered up by the robe mwili ulifunikwa kwa vazi and the church is not you na kanisa si wewe So the church is covered by the Holy Spirit. Kanisa limefunikwa kwa Roho Mtakatifu which is the seven colors. Ambazo ni rangi saba. And the church is not you. Na kanisa si wewe. So who is the church? Sasa kanisa ni nani? The prophet says, Nabii anasema The church is not you. Kanisa si wewe. It is the Holy Ghost. Ni Roho Mtakatifu. That's God you. Ni Roho Mtakatifu ambaye amekupata wewe. So when we say the church, unaposema kanisa, is the Holy Ghost. Ni Roho Mtakatifu. And you are not the Holy Ghost. Na wewe si Roho Mtakatifu. You are not a church. Wewe si kanisa. A church is the Holy Ghost. Kanisa ni Roho Mtakatifu. How do we get in that? Tunalipata aje hilo. How do we get in? Tunaingiaje ndani ya hilo? By the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Kwa kubatizwa na Roho Mtakatifu. And you are a member of that church. Na unakuwa mshirika wa hilo kanisa. So if you are a member of the, that church, kama ni mshirika wa hilo kanisa, if this is the hand, this is my hand. Kama huu ni mkono wangu. And this is my leg. Na huu ni mguu wangu. And this is in my head. Na hiki ni kichwa changu. Who am I? Mimi ni nani? It's all of this. Hii yote ndio mimi. If you say I am the human being, ukisema mimi ni mwanadamu, you don't say this is not human being. Hauwezi kusema hii sio mwanadamu. So you are the Holy Ghost. Kwa hiyo ni Roho Mtakatifu. Do you believe that? Je, <laughs> unaamini hilo? That you are the Holy Spirit. Kwamba wewe ni Roho Mtakatifu. Because they are member of that church. Kwa sababu wewe ni mshirika wa hiyo kanisa. And the church is the Holy Spirit. Na kanisa ni Roho Mtakatifu. And you are the member of that church. Na wewe ni mshirika wa hiyo kanisa. And the Holy Ghost without you is not the Holy Ghost. Na Roho Mtakatifu bila wewe sio Roho Mtakatifu. So there's no holy ghost in you. Kwa hiyo hakuna Roho Mtakatifu halafu wewe. Holy ghost is you. Roho Mtakatifu ni wewe. You and your father are one. Wewe na baba yako ni mmoja because you are the member of it. Kwa sababu wewe ni mshirika wa yeye. And the prophet say you don't join with the in this church. Na nabii anasema huwezi kujiunga nani hii kanisa. I can't come and join with your family. Mimi siwezi kuja na kujiunga na familia yenu. I have to be born there. Natakiwa nizaliwe pale. And this this hand born from my body. Huu mkono born from my body. Huu mkono ulizaliwa pamoja na mwili huu. You can't join this. Hauwezi kuunganisha hii. So we are not joined in this church. Kosita hatukuungana na katika kanisa hili. We born from this church. Tulizaliwa ndani ya kanisa hili. Somebody say amen. Mtu fulani aseme amina. So the church is not you. Kwa hiyo kanisa si wewe. It's the Holy Ghost. Na Roho Mtakatifu continue. Ambaye amekupata wewe ndani yako. Covered with the blood. Umefunikwa kwa damu. God's covenant ni kifuniko cha Mungu. Umekusudiwa kuweka msingi wa ulimwengu. Now, sasa when that robe comes in that is a little hidden power that comes down. Wakati hiyo vazi linapokuja ndani, hiyo ni nguvu ndogo iliyofichwa inayokuja chini. In your heart. Moyoni mwako. That all the devils in hell 
ambayo nguvu hiyo pepo yote kuzimu can't make you doubt it hayawezi kukufanya uitilie shaka hiyo Alright. Very well. Let me read the message uh, beginning and the ending. Ngoja nisome katika ujumbe wa 7 o'clock I'll finish. Sa moja kama nitamaliza. Bear with me. Nivumilieni. You tired? Je, mmechoka? Are you tired? Mmechoka? Are you tired? Je, mmechoka? Okay in the message beginning and ending of the chapter you may be seated katika ujumbe kuanza na kumalizika kwa paragraph 1 to 4 mmeza mkaka 45 aya 45 our prophet said this nabii wetu anasema hivi what is it hiyo ni nini the mystery of god fumbo la mungu god in you mungu ndani yako the hope of glory tumaini la utukufu shining for the baptism of the holy ghost akiangazia ubatizo wa roho mtakatifu then he said ndipo anasema when these things taking place wakati mambo haya yanatendeka time shall be no wakati hautakuepo tena when wakati get with the mystery of god wakati fumbo la mungu god in you mungu ndani yako time shall be no more wakati hautakuepo tena When God is in you, wakati Mungu yuko ndani yako, time shall be no more. Hakutakuwa na wakati tena. So people waiting time to be more. Watu wanasubiri wakati uwepo. By time shall be no more. Lakini wakati hautakuepo tena. When God is in you, wakati Mungu yuko ndani yako. When you when you know you are the Holy Spirit. Unapojua ni Roho Mtakatifu, time shall be no more. Hakutakuwa na wakati tena. Because the mystery of God is God in you. Ni Mungu ndani yako. Amen. The hope of glory. Tumaini la utukufu. Now you are not a uh, creature of time. Sasa wewe si kiumbe cha wakati. Night and day is okay for you. Usiku na mchana ni sawa sawa kwako. You are Christian from today up to tomorrow. Wewe ni mkristo kuanzia leo mpaka kesho. That cannot change you. Hiyo haiwezi kukubadilisha. The dark giza cannot change you. Haiwezi kukubadilisha. Light nuru cannot change you. Haiwezi kukubadilisha. When you get the Holy Spirit. Unapopata Roho Mtakatifu. When the Holy Spirit in you. Roho Mtakatifu unapokuwa ndani yako. Time shall be no more. Hakutakuwa na wakati tena. That is the comment. Hilo ni vazi. You may be sitting down. Kaeni. In the message the seventh seals katika ujumbe mihuri saba. It is the hour. Ni saa that the world has longed to see is. Ni saa ambayo ulimwengu umetamani umeshaukia kuiona. It is now approaching for it is cried out. Sasa inakaribia for the redemption. Inalia kwa ajili ya ukombozi. We can see the elements. Tunaweza kuona the zile, elements zile chembe chembe ready to bring it back. Zikiwa tayari kuirejesha. We can see the element ready to bring the church into the presence of Christ. Tunaweza kuona zile chembe chembe zikiwa tayari kurudisha kanisa we katika uwepo wa Kristo. We can see the bride taking on the form putting the wedding garment on. Tunaweza tukamwona bibi harusi akivaa vazi la harusi. Making ready we can see the light freaking akijiandaa tunaweza tukaona nuru ikichomoza kiangaza we know tunajua we are at the end tuko mwishoni in the message bless 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 famous names katika ujumbe majina makubwa then what does he do when he gives me the holy ghost sasa yeye anafanya nini anaponipatia Roho Mtakatifu? He set you out in the separate place to yourself. Anakutoa nje mahali fulani palipotengwa kwako wewe mwenyewe. Max you. Anaku 
kupitia alama you are a different person wewe ni mtu tofauti then you are not of the world nawe si wa ulimwengu you are not the world no more wewe si wa ulimwengu tena you are closely different umevikwa tofauti you are dressed different umevalishwa tofauti not this outside dress si vazi hili la nje no you don't have to be old Hapana haipasi uwe mzee au upasi uwe wa kipekee au pakuria au wa kipekee mtu fulani kipekee au around au rangi ya namna fulani a long ceremony long au sherehe ya namna fulani no 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 you don't do that hapana ufanye hivyo you dress physically like wewe uko hivyo hivyo tu it is a spiritual dress lakini hilo ni vazi la kiroho that counts ah ndio hilo bali linahesabika the wedding garment vazi la harusi has been put on you limewekwa juu yako what are you wewe ni nani sasa amen thank you children old man tired but children are shouting for the joy and embracing me god bless you children asantani watoto wananibariki Yes sir. Dio bwana. I see many people tired but no I will finish. Lakini I will finish. Wewe nimalizie. We talk in the wedding garment. Tunaongelea kuhusu vazi la harusi which is the seven thunders. Ambalo ni ngurumo saba. And you can't escape this. Na huwezi kukwepa hili if you want to be in the wedding supper. Kama nataka kuwa katika karamu ya harusi because the wedding supper is ready kwa sababu karamu ya harusi iko tayari and the invitation has gone forth na mwaliko ameshaenda the prophet has made invitations nabii ameshatoa mwaliko tayari many are called wengi wameitwa but few are chosen lakini wachache wanachaguliwa so many people receive the message wengi wamepokea ujumbe the invitation mwaliko but they refuse to receive the wedding garment lakini wamekataa kupokea vazi la harusi seven thunders ngurumo saba because if you got the seven thunders kwa sababu ukikataa ngurumo saba if you got you get it kama ukizipata you be the same utakuwa sawa sawa in the wedding supper katika vazi katika karamu ya harusi so they feel that. Kwa hiyo alikataa hiyo. You may be seated. Let me finish. Wewe nimalizie. The one who invited you. Yule aliyenialika is the one who give the robe. Ndiye anayetoa vazi. Amen. So he sit at the door. Kwa hiyo yuko mlangoni. He stay there at the door. Amekaa pale mlangoni. In the Matthew 10 say, katika Mathayo 10 nasema, I am the door. Mimi ndiyo mlango of the sheep. Wa kondoo. Wazizi la kondoo. So when you come through the door, unapokuja kupitia mlangoni, you meet the porter there. Utakuta na bawabu pale mlangoni. The porter, bawabu. With the ropes, akiwa na vazi and the first thing you have to do kitu cha kwanza cha kufanya you have to represent your invitation itabidi uoneshe mwaliko wako kadi yako ya mwaliko so you show him invitation unamuonesha kadi yako ya mwaliko then he give you the robe anakupatia vazi then you get inside alafu unaingia ndani so you have to come through the door inapaswa upitie mlangoni You must come through the door. Lazima upitie mlangoni. If you want to be in the rapture, kama nitaka kuwa unyakuoni, you must come through the door. Lazima upitie mlangoni. So as I, I say, kama nilivyosema, this woman, huyu mwanamke, when he lost his coins, alipopoteza ile sarafu moja every coin had the value kila sarafu ilikuwa na thamani so we have so many people in the message tunao watu wengi katika ujumbe they ignore wali achile walipuuzia they ignore some things walipuuzia au wanapuuzia mambo fulani they say it's not important nasema hayana muhimu the issue is to have the message books 
Eh, jambo nilikuwa na vitabu vya ujumbe and the, and the tapes na kanda i will go heaven tenda mbinguni you will not go heaven utaenda mbinguni until you you get everything mpaka upate mambo yote in the message katika ujumbe to have the message is good kwana ujumbe ni vizuri to have the tapes is good kwana kanda ni vizuri but you can go hell lakini unaweza kwenda kuzimu with the message ukiwa na jumbe because kwa sababu if this people kama watu hawa had the message wana ujumbe the invitation mwaliko and stay home na wamekaa nyumbani could be in the wedding supper je wanaweza kuwa katika karamu ya harusi with invitation wana mwaliko and stay home na wamekaa nyumbani and say they will be in the wedding supper na unasema utakuwa katika karamu ya harusi you have to go inabidi uende to the wedding supper kwenye karamu ya harusi but when you come lakini unapokuja you have to meet the porter there inapaswa ukutane na give you the rope pale mlangoni akupe vazi so you need the wedding garment unahitaji vazi la harusi which is the holy spirit ambayo ni roho mtakatifu which is the seven thunders ambayo ni ngurumo saba which is the seven voices ambayo ni sauti saba if you want it if you don't want it it will be that way kama huitaki unaitaka itakuwa hivyo Let me do this. Ngoja nifanye hivi. And oh of course. Na pia hakika be uh, two coats are finished. Labda ni kumbi nitamaliza. I see people. Na na watu wanalala. Now, sasa that is all right sure. Hiyo ni sawa hakika. I don't blame any woman. Si mlaumu mwanamke yote to look your best. Kutazama kilicho bora. And whatever be clean na chochote to be clean na chochote kile ili mradi tu awe safi and the lady na yule mwanamke that is all right ambaye yuko safi but i just hate to see somebody lakini achukie kumwona mtu disfigured themselves ambaye anajibadilisha anajibadilisha yeye mwenyewe this woman huyu mwanamke don't even look like a, a human hata haonekani kama mwanadamu see, but look clean lakini anaonekana msafi be like a lady kuwa kama mwanamama huu and the men don't be sloppy na ninyi wanaume msiwe ovyo ovyo this men huyu hao wanaume don't be sloppy msiwe ovyo ovyo that is not humble huo sio unyenyekevu that is that huo ni uchafu be clean kuwa safi but don't try to do things like that lakini usijaribu kufanya mambo namna hiyo. So when this uh, woman uh, lost coins, sasa huyu mwanamke alipopoteza ile sarafu, he do everything. Alifanya mambo yote to find it. Kuitafuta. He clean everything. Alisafisha kila kitu. It's calling clean house. Ina, inaitwa kufanya oh, nyumba. House cleaning. Au kufanya usafi wa nyumba. Nobody Hakuna mtu will come to your house atakuja nyumbani kwako and clean for your house akusafishie nyumba yako you have to clean your house inabidi usafishe nyumba yako to find the coins ili upate hiyo sarafu it is your job ni wajibu wako it's your work ni kazi yako to clean your house kusafisha nyumba yako So we heard this morning. Kwa hiyo tumesikia siku ya leo. Want to know the message the little message of the seven seal and seven thunders. Kama utakujua ujumbe halisi au ngurumo saba na miuri saba. Take the message. Chukua ujumbe. Pray. Omba. Find the revelation. Pata ufunuo by prayer. Kwa maombi. Don't sleep. Usilale. Don't say this is for the pastor. Usisema hii ni ya mchungaji. You yourself wewe mwenyewe you have to pray unapaswa uombe to get revelation upate ufunuo amen so you clean your house unasafia nyumba yako you yourself wewe mwenyewe glory thank you jesus amen amen 
Brother, Dugu. Now, sasa the time has changed. Wakati umebadilika. We don't go like groups. Hatuendi kama vikundi au kundi la watu. We go individuals. Tunaenda watu binafsi. Do you believe that? Je, unaamini hilo? We go as an individuals. Tunaenda kama watu binafsi. If you are lazy, kama wewe ni mvivu, be lazy. Wewe endelea kuwa mvivu. I will not be lazy. Mimi sito kwa mvivu. I will find it. Nitatafuta. I will look it. Nitatafuta. Until I get it. Mpaka niipate. So you sister, kwa hiyo dada, so so then so this this revelation usiseme huu funuo is for the pastor. Ni kwa wachungaji. You have to have the revelation. Inapaswa uwe na ufunuo. To stand yourself. Usimame mwenyewe peke yako. To tell everybody. Mwambie kila mtu. This I believe. Hii naamini. I got from the message. Nimeipata kutoka kwa Mungu. Nimeipata kutoka kwa Mungu. I know, I know, I know. Najua, najua, najua. So we need the sisters like that. Kwa tunahitaji watada kama hao. We need the brothers like that. Wa ndugu kama hao. The strong one. Wale wajasiri. The bold one. Wale majasiri. Who can stand for the word? Ambao wanaweza kusimama kwa jina neno. And then don't care. Na hawatojali. If the brother come, kama ndugu atakuja and tell a lie. Na mwambie uongo. I will not accept your lie. Sijakubali uongo. Because I know, I know, I know. Kwa sababu najua, najua, najua. Let me tell you. Wale niwaambie, devil used to go to the sisters. Shetani huwa anaenda kwa wadada, but to this this time, lakini wakati huu, he will fail. Atashindwa. Because these sisters, kwa sababu hao wadada, has got something. Wana kitu fulani. To change the devil, kumwambia shetani. Because this is perfection time. Kwa sababu ni wakati wa kufikishwa. This is not like Eve. Huyu si kama hawa. But this is pride. Lakini huyu ni harusi. We go to perfection. Ataenda kwenye ukamilifu. So you brothers, kwa hiyo nyinyi wa ndugu, you to to, to lie the sisters, mmekuwa mnawadanganya wadada. This time, wakati huu, you'll fail, mtashindwa. This time you'll fail, wakati huu mtashindwa. Because they got something, kwa sababu wana kitu fulani. That is very special, ambacho ni maalum sana. That is overcome the devil, ambacho kwa hicho atamshinda shetani. I can't give the brother Sijali wewe ni ndugu atakushinda. you. Atakushinda. And you say oh you you sister why are you telling me yes. Unasema wewe dada kwa nini unaniambia hivyo? Yeye ni Christian. Yeye ni Mkristo. Yeye ni Christian. Yeye ni Mkristo. She had a backbone. Ana uti wa mgongo. The man. So she went to house cleaning. Kwanza alifanya usafi wa nyumba. Oh brother, if there ever was a need of the time of lighting of the candle, oh ndugu kama kuna uhitaji wakati wa kuwasha mshumaa, the sending force of the gospel light kutumwa kwa nuru ya injiri the holy ghost back into the church. Roho mtakatifu akirejea kanisani. But she got the broom. She got the broom. Lakini yeye alichukua ule fagio and the neighbors could see the dust fly. Nao majirani wangeweza kuona vumbi likiruka nje. For this lady, huyu binti, huyu mwanamke, she didn't hide herself. Haku haku hakujiumiza mwenyewe. You, you see some, some people today the believers. Waamini wa wengine leo, they hide themselves to pay what wa, they believe. Wanajificha leo kile wanachoamini. But this lady, lakini huyu binti huyu mwanamke, make sure even the neighbor, alihakikisha hata majirani, see the dust. Wanaona mavumbi. Bora this is the time. Ndugu huni wakati. Your neighbor, jirani yako, your husband, mume wako, your wife, mke wako, to see the dust. Aone mavumbi. To see that there is something you find it. Kuona kuna kitu unatafuta. To see that you are something you find it. Kuona kuna kitu kwanza kitafuta. Amen. Thank you. Where 
Praise be to God. Mungu na usifiwe. You sister. Wewe oh, dada. Until your husband come back. Baka mwa yako arubuki. Say hey, what happened in this house? Aseme nini kinatendeka hapa? Yes. Ndio. This way, this sister. Huyu dada. He's finding something. Anatafuta kitu fulani. If you don't find it, kama hutokipata, your wife will find it. Mke wako utakipata. This is the time brother and sister Huyo, kati ndugu na dada everybody to know who you believe what you believe kila mmoja ajue kile unachoamini Don't hide yourself usijifiche Testify what you believe shuhudia kile unaamini Show you by the life onesha kwa maisha yako Tell everybody about the life on mwambie kila mtu kwa maisha yako Glory Hey Praise be to God. Mungu na asifiwe. So this woman, kwa huyu mwanamke, until the neighbors saw the the dust fly. Paka majirani waliona vumbi likiruka. What happened to mama so and so? Nini kinatendeka kwa mama fulana fulani? Praise God. Mungu asifiwe. If you not do that, kama utafanya hivyo, the witchcraft, mcha ule uchawi au mchawi will get you atakupata. And you see in the message, na bado uko ndani ya ujumbe. And people every day say, oh this is witchcraft. Witchcraft. Na watu kila siku wanasema huu ni uchawi. Uchawi, what is the witchcraft in the message? Uchawi ni nini katika ujumbe? There's no witchcraft in the in the believers. Hakuna uchawi kwa maaminio. If somebody witchcraft to you, kama mtu fulani akikufanyia uchawi, you will fail. Atashindwa because you have something. Kwa sababu na kitu fulani. You had many many believers say oh I will not leave this this street because there's a many craft why Unasikia asitoacha hii kanisa kwa sababu kuna uchawi mwingi Not the street the, the street sito ondoka huu mtaa kwa sababu kuna uchawi mwingi kwa nini you believers wewe ni mwaminio you run from home because of the witchcraft unaondoka nyumbani urudi mtaani kwako kwa sababu ya uchawi and you say you have the you have the message na unasema una ujumbe you have the message or you have the books una ujumbe au una vitabu You have to differentiate inabidi tofautishe the message and the books ujumbe na vitabu Devo shetani will not fear hataogopa the books vitabu but the devil shetani fear the message anaogopa ujumbe Yes. Dio. Now. Stand up. Let's stand up and finish this. Tusimame, tusimame tumalizie. Imirishe. Wanamuziki tafadhali njoni. All right. Vema. So it's cleaning uh, housing cleaning. Ni wakati wa kusafisha nyumba zetu. She scrubbed the floors. Alisafisha sakafu. She stripped the wall. Alisafisha kuta. She took down in the cobbles aliondoa buibui she kept it un- on until she found what she had mpaka alipata kile chakula anachotafuta as so when she did she when she did na alipokipata she called her little sister churches aliita makanisa madogo ya jirani to come now njoni sasa come rejoice with us john for here pamoja na us on the coins nimeipata ile shilingi now i know the message sasa najua ujumbe now i know the seven thunders sasa najua ngurumo saba i got something nimepata kitu fulani what i lost kile nilichopoteza what we lost kile nilichopoteza in the voices ni sauti i don't care Sijali if you are the Methodist kama mimi ni Methodist au ya Baptist au ni Baptist au Pentecost au Pentecost this is the housing cream huu ni wakati wa kusafisha nyumba zetu clean your house 
Safisha nyumba yako. Don't wait your children. Usisubiri watoto. Don't wait your husband. Usisubiri mume wako. Don't wait church. Usisubiri kanisa. Clean your house. Safisha nyumba yako. Thank you Lord. Blessed be the name of our Lord. Jina Bwana libarikiwe. Hey. do his job atafanya kazi yake will see god atamuona mungu everybody will see god kila mmoja atamuona mungu if everybody mkila mtu clean his house kila mmoja wetu akisafisha nyumba yake our service will change ibada zetu zitabadilika manifestation of the holy spirit will be in the church because everybody takes his work kosa kila mmoja wetu amefanya kazi yake thank you jesus asante yesu so if the president is hover would invite some people to come to the kwa hiyo kama rais alika watu fulani waje that he was going to give a greater supper kwamba angeenda kuwapa a great supper angeenda kuwapa karamu kubwa what would you do je wewe ungefanya nini would sway out je unge vimba kifua you want you want everybody to know unataka kila mmoja jiwe you would be no means hautakuwa kwa vivyote vile that uh, turn that back and write void the wrong address hautachukua ile kadi na andike anwani ya makosa send it back why na uitume why you wouldn't do that kwa nini hutofanya hivyo you will be as the old street excuses utakuwa kama you, you, you would be at the old street excuses hautakuwa kama yale kama zile wale watu uzuru wa zamani kama udhuru wa, wa, wa mitaa ya wakati wa kale it growing about it ambao una, unasema wanalamika kuhusu jambo hilo showing ev- you showing everybody utamuonesha kila mtu si the president invite me kwamba angalia hapa rais amenialika well sure you ought to to be happy hakika inapaswa wewe na furaha about it kuhusu jambo hilo how much more should you be thankful you for for now ni, ni zaidi jinsi gani inapaswa wewe na shukrani sasa mr hence for eh uh, uh, hence but how much greater hana would it be to sit with the son of god kama huyu bwana hasan hawa angekualika lakini je ingekuwa ni heshima jinsi gani kubwa zaidi ya hiyo kukaa pamoja na mwana wa mungu that would be how i i would like to tell everybody jinsi ningependa kumwambia kila mtu jambo hilo lingetokuwa that i had been invited to an jehova supper kwamba nimealikwa katika karamu ya harusi ya jehova why i would be happy kwa nini ningekuwa na furaha but how much happier am i no i am invited to god 
lakini ni jinsi gani nilivyo na furaha zaidi kujua kwamba nimealikwa na Bwana May God rich bless you Mungu nawabariki sana Praise be to God Mungu asifiwe Amen Usinipite jioni ya leo. Niko tayari kuacha yote. Niko tayari kuacha yote. Yote sofa ya kipuzi sasa. Niko tayari kuacha. Nimepokea huu mwaliko. Nimekubali huu mwaliko. Haleluya. Nimealikwa na Bwana mkubwa. Nimealikwa na Bwana Yesu mwenyewe. Praise God amen. My my my. Praise God amen. Thank you Jesus. My, thank you, Jesus. Who see me be the more
tua O napa zuru o napa zuru egi Ine na omba o sini pite O Yesu ye Dio mi aleo Praise God in me. Homa una posuru, una posuru wengi. Ine na omba o usini pite. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu. Tunamaanisha kutaka kutulinda mioyo yetu Bwana. Tunaomba usitupite Bwana. Baba na kuomba ikiwa kuna yote inahitaji roho mtakatifu. Ninaomba umpe Bwana. Ninaamini uko hapo gari vazi Bwana. Vazi la rangi saba ambayo roho mtakatifu. Gurumo saba. Maisha ya Kristo na ya Biarusi. Bwana kuomba usimpite yote aliye mdhaifu aliye mgonjwa mwenye haja yoyote ninaomba usimpite Bwana Praise God amen Asante kwa ujumbe wa kipekee Tumetiwa moyo Bwana Yesu ni mashabiki wako Bwana Tumekubali kukufuata wewe katika hali yote Praise God amen Praise God amen Nimekubali kufuata Yesu Nimekubali kufuata Yesu Nimekubali kufuata Yesu Sitarudi Sita Rudi O Sita Rudi Sita Rudi Nime Kubali Mimi Nime Kubali Nime Kubali Kufoto Ngurumo Saba hata kama ndio karibu kuchekwa na kuitwa kolma ni sawa tu nimekubali kufuata bwana Yesu Kristo sitarudi usitarudi nyuma sitarudi usitarudi praise god amen Amen. Bwana Yesu abariki. Amen. Mefurahi baada ya leo? Mefurahi ndugu Martin? Praise God. Ndugu Martin, Mungu akubariki. Praise God. Kanisa wote tuseme Mungu akubariki. Mara moja tena, Mungu akubariki. Mara moja tena, Mungu akubariki. Praise God. Amen. Shangiri mwanisu mwanisu makofi mengi Praise God Amen Praise God Amen Laba nafo kukesha ndugu nusuva Kama kwa natangazo na tehile Give me that old time religion Mungu wabariki na tangazo tufu Ndibuwa na bariki Keshe bada iti inaanza saa tatu wa subuhi Jaidi ufike saa tatu asubuhi upate muda wa kutulia kuomba Mungu abariki. Bwana abariki sana. Amen. Amen. Hebu tuvinamishe vichwa vyetu tufunge kwa maombi afu tuendelee na huo wimbo. Amen. Na tuombe. Baba yetu wa thamani, Mungu wetu wa ajabu, Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Tunakaa sababu ya kusema asante Bwana. Tunakurudisha utukufu wote Bwana 
kama tulivyokuahidi mwanzo wa ibada kwamba tutakuwa makini kurusha utukufu na sifa zote bwana baba umeenea na sikia ajabu hakika bwana tumekuona asante uja ndugu martin bwana tunakushukuru mungu wetu mioyo yetu imebarikiwa oh thank you jesus bwana pokea sifa zote na utukufu pokea heshima zote bwana tunakushukuru kwa yote bwana baba na kuomba ndani ya moyo wa kila mmoja aliyeko mali hapa hebu akatoke hapa kwa shukrani na sifa bwana akisema kama yule mwanamke alipata shilingi yake mchoni tufurahi pamoja bwana nimepata ile shilingi ile kwa nimepotea bwana baba naomba ikawa hivyo ndani ya moyo wa kila mmoja bwana baba naomba katika jambo fulani ndani ya moyo wa mtu fulani kutokana huu ujumbe wa leo bwana praise god amen tunakushukuru sana mwokozi Yesu baba tujikabidhi mikono mwako siku wa leo ndipo tunapomzika majumbani mwetu tunaomba uongozi wako njiani mwetu wote naomba katupa usiku mzuri tunakataa masumbufu yote ile mofu katika jina la bwana Yesu Kristo baba naomba tutapo kesho hapa asubuhi kila mmoja kaja hapa kwa mejaro wako mtakatifu naomba kila mmoja aje hapa kwa na furaha ya ajabu baba naomba tukuone tena siku hiyo bwana tumetazamia makuu ya kuone tena siku ya kesho bariki kwa hudumu bariki mchungaji wetu Rio bariki pastor Lusuva bariki kila jitenda unaweza fanya kwa ajili ya watoto wako bwana naomba kwa wabariki bwana tukabidhi mikono mwako na kufumukana hapa sasa bwana tutamini Mungu amesikia maombi yetu ni katika jina kuu la bwana wetu Kristo tunaomba tukishukuru amen praise god amen praise god praise god Ani pele dini ya zamani ni pele dini ya zamani ni pele dini ya zamani dio ni toshayo ni pele dini bwana ni pele dini sasa ndugu yako sindako dini ya zamani dio ni toshayo ni pele dini Bwana ni pele dini ni pele dini ya samani dio ni toshayo ili kuwa nzuri kwa ndugu Branham ili kuwa nzuri kwa mitume ni pele dini ya samani dio ni toshayo mashemasi ni pele dini Nipele dini ya zamani dio initoshayo itakufanya umpende ndugu itakufanya usamehe nipele dini ya zamani dio initoshayo nipe bwana nipe bwana Nipele dini Nipele dini Nipele dini Dio ini toshai ili kuwa nzuri kwa mitume ili kuwa nzuri kwa manabi Nipele dini Dio ini toshayo Nipe bwana Nipele dini mashemas Nipele dini Nipele dini Naipenda dini ya zamani Roho mtakatifu Huruma saba Nipele rangi saba Dini ya mtindo wa kale Haleluya Dio ndio kutosha itakufanya ushinde kila kitu itakufanya ushinde kila pepo dini ya mtindo wa kale roho mtakatifu huruma saba praise god amen ni pele dini ni pele dini ni pele dini yesa mimi ndio initoshayo Ni pele dini Ni 
Beladin, ya zamani, ni beladin, ya zamani, ni ya ini to shayo, ni beladin, ni beladin, ni beladin, ya zamani, ni ya ini to shayo. God bless you. 